It's the fighter and the kid Had to run it back Cause we back at it again Yeah, we gon' keep it moving Like it's never gonna end When it was Brendan When it was Brian When it was just talking to friends We got the kid Callin' on the left With the fighter on the right Ay, Had to do it right Cause we coming at you live Back with the team Had to keep it OG Must see TV Yes, we did Cause we back at it again It's the fighter and the kid This is really the fighter and the kid. We're out. Come on, baby. Yeah. Back from Tahiti. Tahiti. We got, it's very tall and good looking up in here. We got Jeff Dye taking over for Mr. Brandon Shop taking over. Do you I look, look drunk? No, you look good, dude. Last you, time, some people were saying, hey, this guy, he looks, <laughs> he looks hung over. I said, I'm going to be a little lady. He goes, it gives me more time to get the bags under my eyes under control. Yeah, to get all those ladies out of my house. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so get, get out of here. i got to go record a podcast. Dude, <laughs> fucking in sports. That's what this guy's that's about. Fucking do. sports that's and coffee. Me trying to sound cool. Yeah. You know, that's what we were talking about before we started. I understand. I see you got a little merch going. What? Oh, no, this is uh, that's no, not no, mine. No. Don't you have a pitching jersey or something? Or What do you mean? I don't know. It looked like on your Instagram you have some merch. Like I don't have jersey. any merch. All right. No. Neither do I. You and I both. I don't sell anything. I sell <laughs> CDs. That's how old school I am. <laughs> you do? There's one day I turned into an old guy. You know, like, It's just like, ah, it's CDs. They're like, that's out. I was like, yeah. that was fine yesterday. I've been quoting your joke. You have a great joke, which is, uh, why does everybody who's into crypto have three roommates? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody so ever rich talks to me about crypto or NFTs. It's yeah. always like a skateboarder, like an Uber driver. Yeah. Or my dumb friend. And it has like three roommates. He's like, you got to get into crypto. I was like, I'm not taking any financial advice from you, dude. That's a hundred percent true. Everybody right. I know who's super rich, they go like this. They go, yeah, yeah, I play around. That's right. it. Or they say, this is the best thing a rich guy can say. You wouldn't understand. And I go, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> like they go, I'm really rich. My finance guys do it all. I go, that's a, maybe when I get a bunch of money, I'll have finance guys. I asked my brother-in-law who is a, a retired at 40. Yeah. And I said, I had some money. I go, well, so how would I invest? He goes, no, no, no. He just goes, no, no, no. Don't worry goes, about it. It's, just too, yeah. it's too much. Well, and also, like, I got some friends, too. They'll be like, yeah, I just put a, I just got a little bit of money from my, like, uh, my grandpa's life insurance. I'm thinking about putting into stocks and stuff. I was like, oh, how much money? He's like, I'm probably going to put a few hundred. I was like, that's not. <laughs> what, what are you, a few hundred in a stock? hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah. It, it's like you gotta I at least be in the thousands if you're gonna invest in something not hundreds everything is like that though like if you if you ask a really good tennis player or a boxer like hey uh, when i transition here i can't dig to the body they look at you and they go i mean what are you asking me uh, you it's like hey so yeah. when i do stand up oh, I'm doing yeah, it for, yeah. i've been doing it for 10 minutes yeah. when i do stand up should I, I i'm not answering any of your questions yeah. do it for 10 years and then come talk to me i can't help you yeah yeah i can't teach you any tricks you just gotta do it you gotta do it yeah yeah, yeah, with the financial stuff, it's like, sorry, do you think people get MBAs or become like, that this is like a 10 minute conversation, now you're yeah. an expert in stocks? That's why I don't gamble. Because right. like, uh, I'm too, one, I'm too cheap to gamble. Because uh, I'll be like, all right, what if I put a thousand dollars down on the Bengals to win this Super Bowl against the Rams? My guy's like, you'll make, uh, you if they win, you'll get uh, about 400 bucks. I was like, well, I have to risk a thousand. No. <laughs> and I get 400 bucks? And they're like, like yeah, that's how it works. I go, this is terrible. Terrible. That's not worth the risk. Terrible. And I would have lost all that money. You guys know how, how that would turn out. If you were to gamble, do you think you'd do well in sports? No, I'm terrible at it. I'm, I've never been. I've, the only thing I've ever predicted is that Johnny Manziel was going to be garbage, and I predicted that. Uh, like I've been able to predict a few of the World Series winners, but it, well, they weren't real gambles. You know, it was like, oh, the Yankees are good. This Why year. do you think Johnny Manziel was going to be garbage? I thought he was going to be amazing. Because he's undersized and he's a terrible work ethic. And if you're going to be that small, you better work your ass off. You yeah, better like be Drew like Brees. Russell Wilson or Flutie or yeah, Drew like Brees. Drew Brees. Yeah. Um, you can't be small and out partying every night and. And acting like a jackass, and, he, and was also, he doing that in college? Yeah, he was. Yeah, like anybody that uh, knew him was always talking about how funny he is, and now he's always drinking and dressing up like Scooby Doo and shit. <laughs> and uh, but the the dog was the dog Scooby Doo. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, all right. Good. And then <laughs> uh, <laughs> was, that's mixing up the characters. The dog yeah. Scooby Shaggy. <laughs> but what's he doing now? Like oh, but the thing was like also in college you'd watch guys just barely miss him when they're trying to sack him. Yeah. And, and just barely, like Johnny Menzel was barely evading these guys. Uh, now those guys don't hold a candle to like NFL players. Those uh, NFL guys don't. 
They're not going to miss. Yeah. They're not going to miss. So I was like, Johnny and they're going to, and they're going to, especially as a quarterback, they're going to figure you out. Yeah. Quickly. Easy. In seven games. Yeah. They they got all your tendencies. I got to say, I've been watching UFC because I became boys with you guys. Gosh, there's so many fighters. Okay. Yeah. How do you keep track? I mean, I thought that you don't. Like, just stick to yeah. the top guys. Oh, you stick to the top stuff. Yeah. Or just watch the pre like I watch the prelims for entertainment, but you get to see the narratives. But it's think, crazy. think of fighting this. There's so many guys. And we're opening these cards on the on the other podcast here. Well, we got 12 packs with Jeff Dye. I'm opening all these UFC cards. I don't know any of them. I'm <laughs> yeah, going, where's like, Patty? Where's uh, Connor? Takes, I don't know any time, of these. But think about think about it this way. It's not just fighting, like what's fun about watching fighters at the high level is they have to figure each other out right so so every each fighter comes with a game plan but they also the top guys also can improvise and do incredible things on the fly right in yeah. the split second timing but for the most part they know you have weaknesses their your team knows that you might not be as good a wrestler you might not be as strong in the clinch you may not be you know whatever it is right yeah and so your job is to solve the the puzzle in front of you it's like it's like you have to solve the fight does that make sense? That does, so yeah. So once you watch that, then you're looking at it differently. You're like, oh, the strategy there. Like if I watch boxing and I watch, like I'm dying to see Bud Crawford fight Earl Spence. Earl Spence is so strong. He's got such good understanding of distance and he's just a beast. But Bud Crawford is just kind of a genius. Like he can fight from, he can hit, he can do both sides. He's just really hard to figure out. And somehow he figures out your pattern. He'll figure out, what you're doing it's like chess yes yeah he's just a better chess player i watch it like uh you know i i body shame them first you know i look at their bodies and i go oh, terrible body oh what look at that <laughs> stupid tattoo and then uh then i pick based on who looks cooler and then um usually i'm wrong yeah, yeah but I, I, I watch it like a woman would watch sports i still do that <laughs> yeah. i've been watching ufc since the beginning and yeah. i still do that i body shame them terribly yeah. all I, I wonder who he's dating you know that's, i watch it like a woman like a woman have, watches sports if a woman's with you you have them be, be like who do you think's gonna win just based on body right you know? well and that's how i do it but then that's also why i'd be a terrible gambler you got to do your homework like callan you know he's yeah. going oh this guy does this and this guy i don't, I don't do gamble it. i don't do any of that i go when are we eating is this match well, almost this, over? this saturday oh that's a lot of blood <laughs> <laughs> this Saturday we have the best looking, two best looking guys fighting, Paulo Costa and Luke Rockhold. Are you remember you what's his your... name? Uh, Dan Hooker. I thought that guy was going to win for sure, and then he's every bone in his skeleton got broken. Yeah, that was terrible to watch. Yeah. And you guys are like friends with all these guys. It must be even harder for you. Some of them, I'm friends with Luke for sure, but that's Paulo Co Costa. He, he's just a fucking. He's jacked. He's just he's no tattoos. He's you never see that. The fuck up. Chin, you Brazilian got tattoos, guy. buddy? I Look do. What do you got? Oh, yeah, a lot. Never mind. Cherry blossom and some birds. And a boy. Some magpies. That guy's, look at him. Because you're Hawaiian, right? <laughs> 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 no, what is this guy's deal, huh? Paul Acosta. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's just, he's fighting, look, he is fighting Luke Rockhold. Take a look at Luke Rockhold. I like the name Rockhold. That's a strong yeah. name. Luke Rockhold's a handsome son. Good of a God, this yeah. guy's going to win, I think. <laughs> that, that's Luke Rockhold. A couple of handsome oh, fuckers. Geez, straight white and male. I know who I'm rooting for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jesus, betting, Jeff. I'm betting on that sis. Yeah. That sis male. Hey, look at him Against right that, that gay Brazilian gender. trans. <laughs> That is weird. I have the only group I'm not allowed to root for. Look at him. He was a he was a fucking he was a fucking polo model. Oh, there you go. That must be rare when you're a fighter guy to have any kind of uh, modeling face. Yeah. Because you get punched in it a lot. Yeah. Yep. He's one of the. He's by far. I'm not real. F one of the I don't top. really like that image. <laughs> one of the best ever to do it. The other photo you had was pretty cool, but this one is weird. When also he, you, I do this pose, right? Like he's much stronger than me. But this is what I do when I have my shirt off. I'm always like in a position where like my abs, you know, like and I'll, yeah. he's got his arms locked so he can <laughs> pop the traps, you know? Yep. It's like it looks a little too intentional there. Yeah. Oh, well, he also looks great in person. And he doesn't even need to. He's got big old muscles. That's just what he looks like. Yeah. I don't, I, no matter what I do, I don't have any of that. It doesn't that seem like a guy that would... Fuck your ex girlfriend. You know? Yes, he will. Doesn't seem like a Not, guy. You go, oh, this guy. Well, well your, your girl, girlfriend. your girl will fuck him first of all. Yeah. Yeah. Your girl will. That's will, what I said. Will slide, slide into his DMs, and then if you have nothing to say about it, because he'll give you a good beat. Oh, I'll have plenty to say about it. Yeah. Who's this chick with him right there? I don't know. Probably modeling girl. She's pretty hot. But yeah. Jeff, you, she you looks you're famous. funny and you're taller than he. Is, yeah, I'll so. do all right. Yeah, yeah, I'll slide into her DMs. Go, Jesus, hey, dude. What's with these muscles? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That guy make you laugh. 
that is one of my favorite things Brant Tobler used to always say. He's like, man, we should be on the, I would be on The Bachelor, I'd kill it. And I was like, what makes you think that? These are like the best looking people in the world. You ever, the Bachelor cast just based on looks, you know? They want 100%. you to be a garbage person inside. Have you? Have they uh, asked you to do it? Yeah, a bunch of times. I just don't want to do it. Yeah. And the, um, it's no money, first of all. And then also they make you look like an idiot. And yeah. then also I don't want to, I'll fight over one gal. You're a comic. Sounds stupid. You're but my buddy Brant said, we would do great on there because long after these guys' abs are gone, we're still interesting and fun and funny. You know, like like most of those guys are way hotter, but they don't have like a personality. They're not, you can't beat a comic. No. no. Hanging out, having fun, laugh. There's no way. No way. Have you ever heard a regular person's stories? <laughs> it's true. Good God. The most boring shit. Yeah, ever. and they go, oh, yeah, this is. The FBI is looking at my... Uh, I went to Germany once. He goes, shut up. <laughs> I went to Germany yeah, once. Yeah, yeah. All their stories. Ah, oh, here comes boring. that Germany story again. <laughs> yeah. And I'm nice, so I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah, it's Germany. Yeah. I'm just, but I'm not interested at all. Let's take a break, Jeff. Listen, when it comes to sleep, you cannot cut corners. You, you gotta got, take yeah, a you quiz. Gotta get the best. You gotta find out if you're a, if you're a light sleeper, if you're a hot sleeper, or a cold sleeper. Do you sleep on your side? Do you sleep on your tummy? Sleep on your back? Helix mattresses. Sleep matters. Sleep matters. Dude. Sleep matters, man. That's the thing about Helix. <laughs> you're right when it says when when beds are for more than just sleeping. The I'm bottom not just line sleeping is in it. they got they've got all kinds of things. They've got optimal pressure. They've got these coils. They've got all this technology that actually does give you the best sleep possible. But forget it. Here's the best thing about them. Sleep on it for 100 nights risk-free. If you don't like it, they'll come and get the mattress from your house. They pick it up. Yes. They will give you a full refund if they give it up. Meanwhile, it's American-made. It's got a 10 or 15-year warranty, depending on the model. And again, it's 100 nights risk-free. Awarded number one mattress picked up by GQ and Wired Magazine. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands, but it is a great mattress. It's and the best. They're offering $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for T5K listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash fighter. That's Heli Helix, helixsleep.com slash fighter. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Listen, you you like sports. Love you sports. like money. Yeah. And you want to get into the UFC. This is your chance. We've got DraftKings now, the, the, the UFC 278. It's got... Usman and and Edwards, it's that's going to be a hell of a fight. Yeah, who so, do you got? And who will go to DraftKings? I, I put all your money on Brian Callen's pick <laughs> of. No, I don't. I, I I I think Usman. I don't bet against a champion, but okay. Edwards has a good chance of doing something here. MMA fans, UFC 278 has an action-packed fight card capped off by the anticipated Usman versus Edwards rematch. It's finally here. Throw down and grab your own epic victory with DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the UFC. This Saturday, new customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in free bets instantly. Win or lose. And if that's not enough action, you can also get a $10 risk-free same-game parlay. Just combine multiple bets, like which fighter will come out on top, and how long the fight will last, and a bunch of other different ways you can do that. So download want. the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code FIGHTER. Uh, bet $5 on UFC 278 and get $200 in free bets instantly. That's code FIGHTER this Saturday at DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of UFC. Minimization eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for detail. New York, I, like, I think some cultures like Boston, New York, you tell they're good storytellers because you don't get away with it. Because you tell a boring story when you're growing up in New York, Philadelphia, fucking Jersey, Boston, you get stopped. Yeah. You start telling a story that's boring, guys go, hey, bro, this is fuck. Is there a point? Yeah. Like you get killed before you even get out of the gates. Actually, this is like a fun subject. When's the last time you were really afraid? Like when you go, oh, I'm scared right now. Like Me? what's the last time you were scared? That's a really good question. I was thinking about it. I know, I know. When I, I just started remembering, like, anytime a girl tells me a story about how she's scared, I'm like, man, it must be terrible being a chick. Because girls, like, a girl, the girls are just, they, their whole lives, they're scared. Yeah. Every day. It must yeah. be terrible to be a woman. I'll go, they'll go, oh my God, you won't believe what happened. I go, what? I was in the elevator and there was a guy in there. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. 
I was like, that's it. I was like, that's the fucking story? You're scared? <laughs> Just because a man was near you in society? Steve Byrne does a joke like that. He's like, his girl called him. You'll never guess what almost happened. Nothing, because it was almost. Right. Like, uh, like, I'm like, yeah, they'll be scared just because a guy's walking down the street and they're walking down the street. They're like, in a, that's, that's a terrifying story for a woman. The, like, a year ago, my buddy, we were in the south of France. Thank you. And he uh, said, let's go. It was nighttime. And he goes, it was raining. And, it, and the waves were huge. Yeah. I'm not a surfer. I don't know the ocean that well. Right. And I don't like the ocean at night. And the currents in Biarritz are crazy. It's where like a lot of big surfers go. So he goes, you want to go out? And I go, fuck it. Yeah. Nice. And I just to went surf out. surf at night? Yeah. And I went out in the Jeez. water. And it was, well, it was dusk. So it was like, uh, okay. you know, but the waves were so fucking big and I couldn't, I couldn't get out. I yeah, couldn't, couldn't get past the wave. Well, I was getting past oh. the wave, but then I was really out there. Yeah. And now these waves, and I'm having to really focus on catching the wave at the right time. Right. With my Surfing. board. And a guy had to come and fucking save me. <laughs> the fucking surfer had South to get me, get my line and tow me yeah. out to even further where I wasn't getting You fucking, bit off more than you could chew, but I did, but you can't surf it. But it was raining, the waves were big, and I was like, I'm just gonna do this because it scares the fuck out. Oh, that's the last time you were scared. <laughs> I think so. I think somebody, this guy was trying to seduce you too. Yeah, he did that too. Yeah, he's I like, was hey, super scared when he was on top of We're in the south of me. France together. You want to go uh, into the ocean while it rains? You're like, are you trying to fund me? Yeah. yeah. Yep. On the on the board? <laughs> yeah. All right, I guess I'm Because like, that is something I'd say to a lady. Like, you know, who cares? It's just raining. It rains fun. And yeah, then the girl's like, he is fun. <laughs> this board's hard on my dick. Why yeah, am I not yeah, wearing yeah. pants? Why, wait, why are you over there on your own board? Come over to the, my board. <laughs> huh? Why are you using me? I'm trying to think the last time I was afraid. You guys, Chin, was the last time you're afraid. You can fight and stuff. Mark, <laughs> and Mark, you're like a strong guy. I don't imagine you being afraid of anything, but like you don't know Jeff. lions or something. No, I'm, I'm, you know, gotta be also, afraid of animals. Another thing is you don't put yourself in positions to be scared. You know sure. what I mean? Part of like being an adult is like, I used to fall all the time doing skating. Now I just don't do that. You right. know what I mean? So there's right. like, as far as injuries go, but I will think of the last time I was scared. It's tough to think of. That's how cool yeah. it is to be a dude. I will say this, anytime I see cops, I get a little scared. You do? Like driving, you're like, oh, am I, you know, it uh, still okay. has that effect. Or, you know, when you're getting arrested, um, it's just. I'm pretty brazen <laughs> yeah. about cops. When you, when you think <laughs> I'm almost the, cocky around cops. Not on the streets, but like, in what's cars. Up, like, yeah. I treat them like they're my gang. You should. Yeah, That's probably are. the they're best They're my gang. They are. Yeah. And if a gang member starts acting up, I go, well, take it easier. I call my gang. Yeah. <laughs> Also, yeah. my gang is going to beat your gang. Ooh, <laughs> you're the true, bloods? Yeah. Oh, yeah, my guy's got helicopters. Yeah. <laughs> we have driven shepherds. My <laughs> gang's going to win. Let's keep escalating this. Yeah. <laughs> and government money. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. yeah. They're going to get away with all budget. of it. That's my gang. Yeah. I'm, I'm afraid of um, the future. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm always afraid of the future because I don't know where I fit in it. Do, do, do you ever think about where you fit in this new fucking future of ours? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Where? It's kind of a deep question. I don't know what I mean. Yeah. I think that if I, I was telling Eric Griffin this last night, like if I, uh, if I'd have known the world would be like it is right now, current day, I would have went to school for like editing. I didn't think I'd ever spend my life spending yeah. so much time going, oh, the time code's this, and how do I, how do I make it sound better here? Yeah. And can you put words on it? And uh, oh, do you clip do your it own down. I've been having the same yeah. thoughts. Yeah, I'm paying all these editor guys. I'm having to do all this. I don't know how to do it. And also, it's like so much of my life is just trying to figure out how to put what I'm good at on the internet. Fuck. Right. You wouldn't want to do it though. Yeah. You want to concentrate on what you do and just have other people do it's it. Because it though. takes up so much time. Well, but also, okay, that's good. Yeah. That makes me feel a lot better. Yep. But also, if I was an editor and knew how to edit, man, I would never run out of work. Yeah. Because everybody needs content, right? Even my dumb buddy's wife. Uh, sorry, he's great. His dumb wife. <laughs> Even she needs content. Uh -huh. She's like, oh, I got to put up content. I was like, you're just a lady. Like, yeah. you know, she's yeah. like, yeah, but I sing while I cook. And yeah. then I eat the food on camera and uh, I have like a hundred followers. There's a lot you know? of people do Even that. she needs to know how to edit. Like, you know, like it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, that she bothers pretty? me. She uh, is very hot. Yeah. I mean, she can get followers in. Yeah. yeah just sure. eating food. Yes. People yeah. love watching people eat. That's weird, huh? I love it. How, yeah. how can you, you do? tell when yeah. people buy followers? I don't know. I see that a lot. I think it's, I used to, I, one time I bought followers and it was like 10 bucks or something. They gave me like a thousand followers. Yeah. Really? And, uh, but then <laughs> oh, really? they weren't real accounts. So like after a while, like you lose 10 the next day. Yeah. Then like, uh, like two days later you lose 
10 you would just they they eventually go away and then also i've read that although it's a long time ago i don't know if it's still true that instagram knows when you've bought followers yeah so then they bury your stuff correct I so you get punished I a little bit i think it's bad in general well, i don't yeah. want fake followers like i want a real it's follower. a lie yeah. yeah but engagement to answer because i've been to your page before you, you like proportional to the amount of followers you have you get a lot of likes, a lot of comments. People engage with your profile. And that's really the number one thing is like, right. do people look, if you have a million followers and you're getting 100 likes and three comments that are all like fire emoji, nice picture, yeah. it right. just looks weird. Also, girls who have 3 million followers because they show their ass. That's a, that's, that's a weird engagement. <laughs> it is a weird modern it's, also, it's almost like fake. It's weird. It's, it is. Well, I don't, the, the app said buy real followers. I didn't know that they were all fake followers. So I don't want fake followers. I don't, <laughs> want, I don't just want the number to be big. I don't want to buy big. real followers either. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to buy any Yeah, you don't followers. want to buy followers. Yeah. 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 I, I only did it once a long time ago, and it was poor. All, all of that shit is a slippery slope. It's the same thing as like, you know, if you get sponsors that you don't believe in. You know why I did it? Why I bought those followers? I had an audition for a Netflix show with Carol Burnett, and oh, I wow. knocked it out of the park. Even during the, like, what would be considered like a chemistry read, even though it's like reality. Yeah. Um, it was like we went and did basically like a segment with Carol Burnett. I'm in the same room with Carol Burnett doing this awesome show. It was basically like me and her are like uh, with these little kids and the kids say the darndest things and Carol Burnett like kind of goes back and forth and whatever. And uh, it was down to me, Josh Wolf, and Russell Peters. And the reason Russell Peters got it is because these old people at the network, no offense, looked at his social medias and was like oh look how many followers he has but here's the thing i know those old bozos didn't they didn't go well let's do some homework and figure out if they're real followers they just saw the number and said whoa well, let's russell, give them russell's, a thing russell's followers are, are real. real i know yeah. that but i'm saying but if i had the <laughs> had same more. amount of followers they, looked, yeah. they wouldn't have known if it was <laughs> yeah. fake or real yeah so that's what made me do it and i was like i'm gonna scam the system here i'm just gonna try to get his mouth fool the world yeah but you got to buy a lot more than a thousand yeah and there's also <laughs> t that used to probably be a lot more impressive now people will look at engagement know all these little you know little hacks. tricks and, and the, yeah the app knows the hacks so you can't do anything i don't think carol burnett's people know who has real followers or not yeah. i was i was in you know obviously in tahiti this past week and my buddy goes why are you not posting anything oh my god <laughs> i was like fuck dude i don't want to but okay it sounds like you, so you <laughs> okay. run your own no i was there with my my whole family i was literally there with my extended family no you run your own social medias yeah, I mean, when I'm when I'm there, I do. I lie about that all the time. A woman would be like, "I DM'd you, and you never saw it." Like after shows, it's a nice out. And I'm like, "Oh, I don't run my own. I don't run my own social medias." <laughs> Mark there I am, which is a lie. Here's what I'm doing, Mom. Oh, look, here you go. Watch this. One time, he, you FaceTimed me twice, and both times you were in like a cool place. I know, like a beautiful set. You're like in Greece or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I was always around. I love it, man. Uh, you're like you got a I'm, good life. Well, I mean, my face is super oblong. <laughs> look at that. Face. No, it's not. You look good, buddy. Look at this guy. I'm modeling. I'm bo modeling. Look, this was a joke. I had a boy. Huh. This was a joke. <laughs> was it I get it in my eyes. Look, I'm trying to get my. You just got a whole. My, you just got ten new followers. Looks very natural. Yeah, my hair is. Also, look, a comedy club's hitting on you. Wise guys. Said I'm doing. Fire. I'm doing wise guys this tomorrow. Uh, I see. One show. Tomorrow. Actually, do you, a do you guys have a lot of followers in Pittsburgh? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Well, hopefully you do, because I have a show in Pittsburgh this <laughs> weekend at Enclave in Pittsburgh, and we've sold about four tickets. Really? <laughs> four uh, tickets. Why don't you do the improv in Pittsburgh? Uh, because uh, I think I did like their last weekend before they like remodeled or oh, whatever. Okay. I just haven't been back. You're at the Enclave Theater. Enclave in Pittsburgh, man. August we need to 20th. see you guys. Yeah, August 20th. Please come. Which is what? I don't want them to go, hey, man. That's Saturday? We sold four tickets. Here's eight bucks. Yeah. Do people know how good you are at comedy? Yeah, uh, I don't know. They should know. Because anytime very nice I come out to see Jeff die with other people. So it's I, not just I me heard people who came comedy. to your show and said they were fucking dying. So well, thanks, man. Yeah, it's all I'm good at. Stand up. Yeah, you're really good yeah. at it. Oh, and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up and fucking. What are you even doing? <laughs> just making people laugh and fucking Yeah, Bill Hicks used to always say, man, fuck the audience. Jeff Dye says, fuck the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Who's your favorite? Yeah. Who are your favorite comics? Ever. Yeah. Um, I love Daniel Tosh. I think he's so underrated. I agree with you. I think he's a genius. I, I, I do too. Uh, a lot of the usual suspects, so like Chappelle and Bill Burr. So I went up to Daniel Tosh for the first time I saw him at the Laugh Factory. We yeah. were like contemporaries, you know, it's not like. Sure. I was doing my thing and I came up and I said, I think you're the best comic working right now. And he goes, that's so not true. I go, no, this was about 10 to years. To Daniel Tosh? 10 years ago. Yeah, he won't receive compliments. And, but but I, I didn't know him. And I was like, no, I'm, I, I'm, I know the difference. And I'm telling you, I think you're that good. 
I said the same thing to Bill Burr about you know seven years after that, but but yeah, I I, I think he's incredible. Uh, the first time I ever met Daniel Tosh, I went because now now we know each other. But I had just moved to LA, and I've never seen him. I've never been in the same state as him. And so when I saw him, I went right up to him and I go, "Hey man, you're a genius." And he goes, "No, I'm not." And he walked right by me and left. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, like, that is crazy. Uh, yeah, he's he's he doesn't give a fuck. He's brilliant, man. About I mean, there was a famous comic who I I won't mention, and I was talking to Daniel because Daniel had seen he liked uh, I think uh, Kingdom. I was doing Kingdom, and he was a fan of the show, and we were just talking about it. I don't know him well, but we are, we're having a great conversation, and um, I've always had great interaction with him. And uh, a famous comic came up and said, "We should have lunch." And he goes, oh, no, I could never do that. I did that. I, I had a three-minute conversation with you about uh, five years ago, and that was way too long. That's what he said. To I think Shab has a good story about, uh, I might botch it here, but Shab's got a story about how, like, Rogan said to Daniel, uh, he goes, hey, hey man, you should, do, uh, you should come to the podcast. And Tosh goes, why? <laughs> and Joe's like, well, you know, we have a good time, and, you know, it's fun. And he's like, no thanks. And just like walked away, like in just perfect Daniel Tosh fashion. Daniel does not give a fuck. It's Bro. really interesting. He's because as a guy, I'm always a little bit way more polite because I, I guys fight. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. always like, I'm always like, if I'm gonna be that way, I have to I, either I don't like the guy and I, I'm gonna gotta be ready to throw down. I guess that's my old school way of thinking <laughs> yeah, about like, it. Yeah, yeah. Like I'll never talk behind somebody's back on a podcast. Like you'll never hear me say bad things about somebody unless I'm gonna say it to their face. Because sure, sure, sure. For me, gossip is not. I, it's not my generation. It's not what men do. Yeah. If I'm gonna say shit about you, I'm gonna say it to your face because I don't like you and I have to be willing to back it up. I, I yeah. guess that's. I'm not saying that that's right. I'm saying that that's how I was raised. So for me to say something like, say there's a guy out there I don't like and I say bad shit about him. That feels like I'm hiding behind a mic. Sure. Right? Yeah. And so then I feel like I'm I'm being cowardly. I get Because he can't defend himself. I'm guilty of it all the time. Yeah, I, I'm just... I'll just also, say I'm a not thing good at the roasting thing. To like, try to be funny, or I'll yeah. say a thing because that's really what I think. Yeah. And later someone's like, did you say that? And I go, yeah, it's my bad, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, did, I said, like, a terrible thing about Owen Benjamin on, uh, on uh, Jimmy Dore's podcast. But I only did it because they were going in on him. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'll join in the do little. Know, do you know Owen? Join in the little reindeer games yeah. here. So I just started saying all this terrible stuff, but but just jokes. They were all like punchlines. Like what? I always, uh, like I was like, oh, I heard Owen Benjamin selling a new uh, his merch now. He's selling his his uh, his memoir. It's called Mein Kampf. You know, yeah. which is a stupid joke. Yeah. And then um, did he? I guess he goes off on lots of different. Well, but I felt so bad leaving, knowing that I was going to get posted, and then he's going to find out, and then I'd be like, "Yeah, man, I'm an idiot." So I just tried to nip it in the butt. I just texted him. I said, "Listen, man, these guys were all saying all this terrible shit, and then I joined in the Ranger Games, and I shouldn't have." I'm sorry. Owen's response was so great. He's like, "Oh, it's cool, man. Yeah, you're my homie, man. You can say whatever you want about me. Yeah, it's if you don't know me, I'll fucking kill you." <laughs> like he's like, "You could make fun of my wife. I wouldn't care." Because because I know you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, but if you even just said like the slightest thing wrong about me, like my I'll, experience I'll, and I don't Owen, know you. My experience with Owen, I, I don't know what got him banned and stuff, but my experience with Owen was that he was the sweetest, nicest fucking yeah, guy. Like he would him. buy everybody drinks. I don't know. I guess I where is he? What happened? We get along uh, we get along yeah. fun. But where 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 is he? He what? moved uh he had some kids and moved to uh where his wife is from. Yeah, I don't. I think he also got really heavy into. This is just my uh, interpretation of Owen, is that he got into like uh, real intellectual stuff. Like, like he started listening to mm -hmm. intellectuals and getting he, into these more kind of deeper subjects. He got and he took that so serious that he started a podcast and started tackling these kind of like bigger things, which aren't as light and fluffy as stand up or playing piano or telling right. jokes. And I think because of that, that's just my own assessment. Because of that, I think that's kind of affected his career a bit. Okay, if yeah. that makes sense. It seems like he got. Got into politics right? yeah he got into like a lot of that stuff like i remember one time he's on twitter he just kept saying the n-word and Damn. he was trying to make the point of like why do we give this word so much power oh, and all yeah. he was trying to make a point but yeah. really all everyone saw was a guy saying the n-word on yeah. twitter a bunch over our, it's a tough thing to stick and it's I've also always, really not I've, his message to tell I'm, you know like, yeah i've just always he's i swear to god i've only had i've only had good me too encounters with him he's he has, to me he is yeah. the sweetest he's always for me uh, for me yeah. he was always the sweetest human being i'd ever like always yeah. i like him a lot oh i think that, that i talented. think that's that's my assessment is that he, i think he just he got into stuff that really isn't what comedy is you also got a publicly beefed as Steven much. crowder i remember 
Like, because oh, I was following this stuff online in like text. YouTube politics that um, just, <laughs> it seemed like he was on a spiral. Yeah, but yeah, also people were framing play. it that way. It's like I don't know what's going on in his yeah, head. Yeah, and now. I hope that I didn't word that weird where like I want to get mad about that. But I think w if you come from the world of I'm an actor and comedian and I play piano yeah. and I make people smile and laugh, and then you do this hard shift to like let's really deep dive on yeah. trans rights and you know or like you know stuff like that. Questioning actually, these kind of more subjects. mainstream now, you know, because it could, but like he was probably saying some stuff that would seem more normal now. Yeah, you know, but it's like at the beginning of COVID or whatever. It's like. Yeah, these are the crazy people. Now they're like, actually, they had a point. It's also <laughs> it's also a terrible city to be Republican in. Oh yeah, Correct. and he's or even conservative. Remotely public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you even just say a thing, or even having an opinion, in. and he's well, no, very man, much a conservative uh, in a lot of ways, and uh, and in a lot of subjects. So like you know that also probably drove him bonkers. Yeah, I don't know. This is not a very tolerant city. Yeah, oh, for sure, man. This town's and, tough. But this town is really <clears throat> hypocritical because this town, Hollywood, with a lot of very rich people, yeah. they're all conservative, but they just don't say Right, it. they have to hide. Yeah, but they're all fucking conservative as shit, I promise you. Well, that's I'm not the, saying they're Trump supporters. I'm saying they're conservative. They're yeah, different. someone said a really smart thing. I don't remember who it was, but they were like, the problem with this town is that, uh, and this is just L.A. in general, but maybe everywhere in America, is that like the people on the right think the people on the left are wrong. And the people on the left think people on the right are evil. <laughs> that's <laughs> like right. that's okay. Mm -hmm. One side's just gone. These people, a bunch of dumb dumbs, yeah. man. They don't know what they're talking about. Yes. And then everyone over there's going, ah, "All them over there are racist and terrible." And you're like, "No, yeah. yes. it's just the other opinion." Yes. But there is that version of that. Remember when it was like, "Save the children. They're eating babies with adrenochrome." There is that version to the left too. But they're different things that they paint each other with. Yeah. The the left to the right is you're all racist, yeah. knee jerk, which is terrible. But the right has a version of that where it's like, oh, yeah, you're all, you know, you all eat children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's what my sister was uh, in Tahiti. My sister was talking to somebody she knew from L.A. And they had a friend there who said, uh, yeah, well, who's the racist friend? And, and my sister said, what? And she goes, who's his racist friend or whatever? And she goes, what do you mean racist? And she goes, well, he's the Trump supporter. Right. Uh, and he was being serious. And, and yeah. she was like, uh, hey, fucko. Yeah. They, they, some people are Trump supporters, and this is coming from somebody who's not, but some people are Trump supporters because they the other side hasn't worked for them even a little bit. Right. So they're but but the what you know, Trump has alternatives that they find way more favorable. Yeah. Doesn't mean they're racist. It just means that they 100%. want anything but this woke fucking left wing agenda. Which it, has its And you see more like it was confusing at first when Trump rose to pop. I'm like, what are these people seeing him? Now it makes like a hundred percent more <laughs> sense yeah, okay, with funny. everything that we've done. It's like, yeah, man. Well, you know. Eh. Well, I think it all comes down to just likability. Yeah. You can do anything you want if you're just likable, and, and you can't do funny. anything if you're unlikable. Yeah. And so, like Donald Trump, no matter like you could you could find something he did that was reasonable or good, and people be like, "What? How dare you defend him? Because he's just so unlikable." But he's also likable. I don't think he's very likable. But there's another like side. Troll. There's another side that thinks he's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like I like watching him in debates because the guy cracks me up. Yeah, like, I, don't I, like I just I, I I I think he's a con man. I, I actually yeah. don't think I think he's so he's he's into trump yeah not in anything else other than trump that's my that's always been my problem personally but he is fucking he's funny. also a liberal i don't know why everyone doesn't realize yeah that. he was a democrat he was a supporter he voted, of democratic yeah, he voted always. democrat his entire yeah. life he gave to hillary clinton's campaign yeah, he's a, yeah. But, but and he's, everyone goes oh he's a republican but he's also guy. unapologetic he's just like fuck you i changed my mind yeah and people are like uh, but he he does know the economy like a lot of people will say that there's a lot about him. I've heard a lot of business people say they don't like him personally, but his economic policies make more sense than the Democrats' economic policies. Yeah. I don't you, like him at all. At I don't know anything the, about him. The he would talk about China all the time. It seems weird to us because, like a globalist, whatever neoliberal economic stance is like, oh, that's crazy talk. But then as thinking like, actually, yes, you yeah. know, he, there is something to it. At first, it just sounds, he won't shut up about China, right but it about turns China. out, How right. About that? He was right well, about here's the thing, that. like, I don't like Trump, and then everyone goes, yay, Jeff's on our side, and I go, don't get carried away. I think you guys are yeah. a bunch of idiots, too. Yeah. Do think don't Kamal think Harris? I'm Republican just because I realize liberals are stupidly annoying. And they are. <laughs> don't yeah. paint me in either camp. Fuck, man. Yeah. And it's like, but they think, oh, he must be on our side because he says bad things about Trump. I was like, no, he just, I don't like unlikable people. Yeah. 
I think Trump is a very unlikable guy. Although I did have a dream recently that Trump held my hand in a car. <laughs> <laughs> and in the dream, I was like so excited. Like, I can't believe this is happening. I can't wait to tell this story. Also, I've got a pretty powerful friend here. You know? <laughs> like in the dream, I was really like, I can't believe we're holding hands. Have you ever hands. had a gay dream? No. I have. I've had, oh, this is gross. I've had dreams that I was having sex with my sister and I wake up mortified. Yeah. Like, like it, I, like, I'm like, I was traumatized. I've had that dream probably like three or four times in my entire life. And every time I'm like, what? So in my dream, in me? my, in my dream, yeah. I've had, I've been having, I talked about this a long time on the podcast. I was having sex with somebody I, and I was like with a dude. And I, I remember in the dream being like, this is the worst shit. I like, it was, I'm just not, I'm very straight. <laughs> So it was just, it was so, to me, it was so bad, but I was, I was like, well, here we go again. And I was like, I'd be like, here we go again. And I, I think I was getting nailed. I really do. And I was like, of course. Yeah. That's the like, scary part. Right. Getting nailed. And I'd be like, not doing the nailing. I'd be like, here we go again. And I have yeah. to get on my tummy. I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucked, dude. Well, that's probably the, the more emotional role. It's like, if you're a straight guy and you're like taking it that'd be the thing that like the stuff of a dream or a nightmare sure. is so much emotionally more actually powerful. that might be the first time some people go oh you're homophobic and then uh people always go no i'm not afraid of homosexuals no. i just i they'll say like i just don't agree with it or whatever their opinion is yeah. they go i'm not afraid but maybe we are afraid i'm just not of the sex part we're going oh god that'd be scary huh yeah yeah are you kidding me yeah like also when i look at you you're a very good looking guy yeah. I, I would never be able to make out with you no not you in a million a beard, years you're a dude i can't do it uh, not in a million years i've thought about this a bunch it's just yeah. not <laughs> but I've, had, I've, I've done plays yeah. or i've done like there are tv shows where you're supposed to make out with a guy and i'm like yeah i i just ain't there. auditioning for that i'm not you know why i've I, thought about this a million times is because i always joke i say it in my act that i wish i was gay you know because i prefer the company of dudes <laughs> Like I'd much rather hang out with guys. All my friends, we we have such a good time. Everything's good. But then I have to like depart from all my guy friends to go have sex. Yeah. <laughs> but if I could just be into it that part, it would be so much easier. My life would be just so much easier. But like, I was in jail. He said that. He goes, if I had had access to women, I would never have wanted to leave jail. Yeah, free food just with all my boys. Yeah, get to hang out, play dice, fucking lift, play cards, <laughs> yeah. fuck around. I mean, I was trying know. to explain that to this girl. Uh, I don't want to out her on the podcast by name, um, but she was like, she thought she was gay. She had a girlfriend for three years. The girlfriend broke up with her. And then the girlfriend was like, um, she was so, or she was so broken up about like the breakup. So sad about it that she went to a wedding, started flirting with this guy. And then the, her and the guy had sex. And she's like, oh my God, I forgot what it's like to have sex with a guy. Dude, I am straight again. Like I, I was wrong. I am not. I might be bisexual or something, but I'm definitely not a lesbian. Yeah. Like, it was the greatest thing. I missed Dick. Like, this was the best. Oh, man, it was just something about it. And I go, yeah, you're just talking about exactly what I... You prefer the company of women yes. because yeah, they're nice yeah. to you and they listen and they're, you know, you guys have a ton in common. And then, but then you, but you want to have sex with dudes. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the life I'm living. It's funny yeah. you say that because my... I prefer I, I, men, but I don't want anything to do with them sexually. I have a friend who has a lot of gay women friends yeah she, she, she's friends with a lot of gay women she actually works with a lot of them some of them are her agents and stuff and to a woman she told me that like all of them end up like almost all of them they're obviously they're very gay women who are just in the women but a lot of them who are in these relationships fucking end up missing dick and go back uh -huh. to dudes i wonder if there's some sort of like closeted lesbians well, so like they're out as lesbians, but they're closetly sneaking around and getting Guaranteed. dick. Well, yeah, because I think Guaranteed. a lot of women that must be a thing. A like lot of ideology. women are into they, they could be married, but they're also attracted to women. Right. But don't get it twisted. They like men. That's what I'm saying. They're like they're in their mind. They're like, I could never let anyone know that I'm sneaking off and having dick. You know, because yeah. I hate men and I don't want anybody. That exists. To, yeah, and they're like, but I also need it. You know, it's like a drug or something. Yeah. No, my friend, my friend's good. What would that be guy. called? He's a good-looking guy, and he that's that's happened to him a lot of times. Like at at a restaurant, in fact, these two at a hot, restaurant. yeah, these two hot lesbian. One of them was really hot, and they were they'd been they were gay, straight up gay, and she was in a relationship with this other girl for a long time. But she was fucking just CrossFit hot, you yeah, know, just and. Uh, she started getting drunk and she took my buddy went to the bathroom and she, you don't see a lot of hot lesbians i know that's a mean take you do she i showed don't. up from seattle they always look like me yeah well these girls <laughs> this girl was like 
I know they exist. Muscular, but also hot as shit. And she met him at, she, he was at the bathroom and he kind of like came out and she just kind of met him there and fucked him. Really? In the bathroom. That's pretty sweet. And her sweet. girlfriend was at the table. How does this like, stuff happen? How does this work? Well, oh yeah, she's one of the best. Cara D. Levine. Is she that? bisexual though or is she I think up? she's bisexual. Yeah, I think so too. She's super I don't, A lot of times I don't buy it. A lot of times I got, I got <laughs> serious uh, hi, oh, skeptical hip, hippo eyes. To I like her news. a lot. Uh, well, here's the thing. Also, people might listen to that and go, that guy's a dick. He said there's no hot, there's not a lot of hot lesbians. But here's the thing. They don't care that I said that. Yeah. Lesbians don't need me to be, you know, they don't give a shit. They go, oh, so some straight guy thinks I'm not hot. They're also so going for a more masculine I didn't know she was gay. Yeah, and here's, here's actually, this is proving my point. The third, look, the Jody third Foster's was Kate like McKinnon from SNL. That's the... That's the third hottest lesbian in the world? No, no, no. Give I'm me a about, break. No, 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 I, yeah, yeah, I don't. I'm not. But female sexuality is more fluid. What does fluid mean? Uh, <laughs> it, it can change unlike guys. Oh, yeah, just, yeah. The, seemingly, it's a scientific consensus that you can go back and forth. Or That's start a out hot straight. lesbian. Who's that? Right? I don't know. Good night. Also, She's yeah, from... This is not uh, who I consider... Be. They're not I'm saying not. the hottest. I'm mean, just oh, saying like uh, just I famous. Love yeah, famous. Oh my bad. The they're ranking it in fame. Love I love Jamie. She's from that guys. Black Rose from Aziz on Sorry Show. Is good. Mm. Has Wanda Sykes told a joke in the last twenty years? I don't know. Every time I see her on something, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be funny. Wanda Sykes, and then she gets on and just bitches and moans. Really? Yeah. She's like, you know what it's like to be a black woman in America. You're like, America. you're a millionaire, Wanda. Who's this? We think you're hilarious. Amandala, Amandala. She looks like a younger. I, I got, I got, uh, I got skeptical, skeptical hippo eyes on this one too. What does hippo Wait, eyes mean? Like I'm like this. Look, <laughs> I don't quite buy it. Oh, you love animals, don't you, buddy? Yeah. I don't know, dude. Big animal guy. <laughs> she's really good looking. Hippo eyes. And she's gay. Is your Apparently. skepticism because she's good looking? Yeah. She's got that straight look. Let me let me just see something. Oh, or, what's that one? Uh, There's an actress who claims she's uh, trans. And I, I find it hard to believe. Trans? She says she's trans in her Wikipedia, but I don't, I don't believe her. I know that's a weird thing to question. <laughs> no, why are you questioning Elliot Page right now? Who? Elliot who? Page. I don't know who that is. No, there's a girl. For, she's a, she's a comedic Page. actress. She's very funny. But in her Wikipedia, she, said, she was on a, I Think You Should Leave with Tim Robinson. But I don't know what her name is. She's very, very I famous. I Think You Can Leave? And very funny. I Think You Should Leave? Oh, Should Leave. Uh, with Tim Robinson, and uh, she's one, she's the main female actress on season one and two. So she'll be in the cast, I guess, if you do that. Why did you do that? Not that girl. Cast. There it is. Yep. Patty Harrison. Patty Harrison. She says she's trans, but uh, she doesn't. She, but she's a girl? She was a guy? Yeah, she claims she's, I don't know what that means. I think she said she's a biological male who's now a female. But she also is the type of person to say all sorts of stuff, you know? Yeah. Because she's, she's funny like that. She's hold like on. a troll. She's honorary. Uh, hold on. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back up. Where? Well, I guess it would be personal life. And children, Vietnamese mother, American father, father, mother, and janitor. Okay. But here's the personal life part. Uh, transgender woman. Shortly after dropping out of Ohio. You, what a weird thing, huh? Delayed seeking diagnosis. Uh, She's hilarious. I mean, like, literally one of the funniest people. Like, she, she kills it on the, on the show. Everything I've seen her on, she's hilarious. And then also she, um, I'm just vouching for her. This has nothing to do with her being trans. Mm -hmm. But then the, uh, she did a thing where she changed her Twitter picture to Nabisco and then changed her Twitter name to Nabisco. And since she's verified as Patty Harrison, it had like a little check mark. So people thought it was <laughs> Nabisco. actually Nabisco. And then she started tweeting all these things that like Nabisco would tweet like, hey, you know, we're in this many grocery stores and all this different stuff. Then she goes, also, we're excited to announce that um, musician Sia is going to be taking over our Twitter tomorrow. And then the next day she pretended she was Sia tweeting from the Nabisco website. <laughs> and then... Sia would go, hey, I'm so excited. There are only two genders. And all these people started getting oh super pissed off at Nabisco. And uh, She sounds great. Yeah, actually. she's hilarious. I love people like this. Uh, yeah, and so she got banned from Twitter. Mm -hmm. Transphobia is never okay. Thank you for holding us accountable. We are better than this. We started <laughs> to learn and grow as a brand. And you make that possible. I'm going to swing from the chandelier. From, I'm going to swing from the chandelier. From the chandelier. And it Sia. says Sia. Trans women are men. All caps. <laughs> like, it's just such a funny... 
way to oh my troll the world oh. and also get Nabisco in trouble. Got Sia in trouble. Like she did all this great stuff. She's a hilarious, hilarious uh, woman. Hello, I'm Sia, the singer. We this do not real, want your business. I know you're bisexual. <laughs> that is so the next good. level shit. Yeah, if you are bisexual, you are bisexual we, we do not want <laughs> your so business. Crazy. Nilla Wafers by Nabisco. Oh man, she's great. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, she's I gotta hilarious. watch. I think you should leave. She makes me laugh so hard. Yeah. But uh also Tim Robbins is brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. I like was like a fanboy. I, I we happened to be in Detroit show. at the same time when I was shooting a movie and he was shooting uh like either he was shooting a new show. He's English, right? Yeah, he's Detroit. He's from Detroit, he born is? and raised. Yeah. Oh, shit. He's brilliant. Um yeah. but anyways, I found him. I was like, I'm finding this guy. We had my buddy's like, I'm working on this show of his. I was like, perfect. Set me up. I want to hang out with him. So I got to hang out with him at a Tigers game for like three minutes. <laughs> but it was worth it. You, know, you got to find your heroes. Who's your team, baseball? Wise? Mariners, Seattle Mariners. That's You're not a baseball guy, huh? I was just at the uh, Dodger game. It's great with Padres. I wanted Schaub to come to the Orioles game. I threw out a first pitch for the Orioles. See all the ceremonial first pitches. I threw one out for the uh, Baltimore Orioles, and he was in Baltimore like Let the me see day your before. Oh yeah, these are. Uh, Is there music here? Yeah. Okay, can't do that, but we can watch. And these are all the. You played baseball. All the right? ones I've thrown so far. That one I launched into the suites. Why did you throw, throw it in the 200 level? I thought it'd be funny. And then the uh, the GM of the Mariners, Kevin Martinez, goes, that was our worst first pitch we've ever had. <laughs> and I was like, I think you mean best first pitch because it was on Twitter. And he goes, save the shtick for Bill Murray. And I was like, all right. So Bill Murray. He was like mad about it. So after that, I threw only just good first pitches after that. No more gags. Love the mascots. You love it. I love it. Oh, I'm yeah. It's funny. You we, look like a baseball player. First time I ever... Uh, I always like to throw to the mascots. It's my favorite. There's the Baltimore one coming up. How many, how many pitches have you thrown? Wow, so I many. think uh, 13. Or how do you do it? You just call them up? No, uh, it's actually quite a process. I basically hunt them down the way I hunt down Tim Robinson. I go, who's got a contact? And then I use that contact to meet whoever and finally figure out who the person is, who, who organizes it all. And then you got to make yourself sound way more successful than you are. You know, Just shot a movie. <laughs> Stuff like that. Yeah. I whore out all my credits. Yep. I go, oh, you won't believe what I'm doing now. Yeah. I'm the host of The Fighter and the Kid. I just show them <laughs> this one episode. <laughs> the Fighter and the Kid. And then they see how many followers The Fighter and the Kid has. They go, this guy is a really big deal. On the way back today from the airport, the guy, the customs guy goes, Brian Callen, dude, I took a week off because I knew you were fucking in Tahiti. I was like, that's very nice of you, sir. Well, that's nice. I know. We didn't have a podcast, so that's good. Mm. You, How often do you dude, get recognized? I don't know. Depends. Yeah, but I mean, it's I never get recognized in L.A. But everywhere else, people people come up to me yeah. and say hi. It's like the only town. It's always like what? when I like. I think this is the town where if they recognize you, they just don't say nothing. Yeah, well, mm. but like in Bora Bora, I got like you don't know until they yeah. go, "Hey, I'm a fan." After they after. Do you, you say like hi. it when people come up? Yeah. Me too. I love it. Yeah, I, I'm never. I love. I love being recognized. They go. I don't want to bother them. I, I like it bother when my me. Kids I'm, I'm lonely. It. Yeah, my kids get excited because the you know. The customs guy with his gun is like, oh shit, you know. That, yeah. That, that's fun for me. But like guys will be like, oh man, you're in uh, St. Louis. Uh, let me know if you want to get a beer. I reply right away. I go, yeah. Uh. <laughs> they go, really? I go, yeah. Come pick me up. I don't know anybody in St. Louis. <laughs> My girl said somebody hit me up <laughs> I don't on Instagram. mind at all. <laughs> My good. girl sent me a thing. I forgot to answer back. Sent me a DM. And he was in Bora Bora. He's like, let me buy you a drink. But he was at a different hotel. Oh, Everything's yeah. on the water. So I, I have to take a boat over there. Oh, I, I make them come get me and everything. And they can't believe it's happening. They act like I'm some superstar or something. Yeah. They go, this is crazy. I go, yeah, it's fine. Let's just get some luck. Be, I need someone to talk to. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm the same way. <laughs> Sitting in a Tampa hotel. I don't think I'm better than you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really don't. Well, that's why I like all those comics that work with me and stuff. Like, I don't know, Shop, I guess he stays at the Airbnb and yeah. orders food. And he's got, yeah, he you know, hides. he's a family guy. Yeah, yeah, but Shop's not trying to go to bars and meet girls. No. Whereas like... I'm always trying to do... I make the comics that come with me hang out with me the whole time. <laughs> they come back, they're like, yeah, Jeff is, he wants to do stuff all the... My buddy Zacho stayed with me um, from Chicago. Very funny comedian. Look up Zacho. Great guy. But he stayed at my um, place for like three or four days. And he'd be like, I gotta rest, man. And he, like, he was like pleading with me. He's like, I gotta go home. What I was like, do? no way. We're going to the chimney sweep. He's like, dude, it's midnight. I've been... We, we hung out all day at the pool. I'm, I'm stoned out of my mind. I was like, no, we're going to the chimney sweep. And then at midnight, he, yeah, that's Zach, a big handsome guy. He's six six, something like that. Big, tall, Jeez, cool geez. guy. But anyways, uh, so he goes to bed in the guest room or whatever. And uh, I just call my buddy Jeff Z and I go, all right, we're going to the chimney sweep. He's like, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> it's like my social motor is insane. How do you, uh, so, so do you get stoned a lot? 
No, I never get stoned. I don't, I don't smoke weed. But you drink? I drink. Yeah, he and got stoned. You can stoned. drink all day? Yeah. No problem. No problem. And then you can get him to do stand up. Yeah. That's good. And drink. You don't drink? No, I can't drink during the day. I'm fucked. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's fun. And yeah. I, I, I can drink less and less. But I just thought it was funny, the Zacco, like this cool young guy, he's younger than me, and he's going, please, dude, please just let me go to sleep. <laughs> just pleading with me, like, this is, come on, I buddy. Can't do it. Come on, buddy. It's been a whole day. <laughs> that is kind of what. You're doing too much. You stand up lifestyles. Yeah, I just. When you're younger? Well, I just like talking to people. I've learned everything I like has to do with talking. If there's talking involved, I'm in. <laughs> my buddy we we're at the dog beach and he goes he goes we should rent atvs because we saw some tourists go by on atvs and i remember in my mind i didn't say it out loud i go no way dude we couldn't talk <laughs> <laughs> i thought like who would i talk to if i was on that atv with the helmet on and so you're not in it like things like fishing or fishing we can talk yeah but like darts you say let's go throw some darts you say yeah we can that's a fun game we can talk but like snowboarding no dude i'm on the mountain by myself with headphones <laughs> reading in. Like, no yeah, way reading what are we doing I don't like it, like, like... You don't like solitary, kind of like being alone. Yeah. You'll, you're, you'll talk to people next to you in a plane. My ex-girlfriend was like, I'm flying to Chicago. I wish you were on my flight, because I, too, was going to Chicago. I was supposed to. And uh, I almost canceled my flight just so I could fly on the same flight as her so I'd have someone to talk to on So the you plane. like talking to somebody on the plane? Yeah. I don't talk to anyone. Well, I, well, I don't talk to strangers on the plane. No? Not generally, because I'm stuck with them. Yeah. 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 That's a little different. That is. I'm sorry, that seems inconsistent. <laughs> but you, you, you're happy to talk. It's cool when you're on a plane and you're running like three comedians that you know. Oh, that's the best. I used to, there was a run there where I saw Ian Bag every Sunday. How's he doing? He's good. Yeah, he's the best, man. What's One of my to? favorite people. Comedy. Road dog. I never see, Yeah, he's road dog. Well, before the pandemic, he had like a um, residency in Vegas. So Did I'd he? see him there all the time. And then we'd always be on the same flight on Sunday coming home. So I, I was like getting a lot of Ian Bag time just because on accident. He's a good guy. American Ian's Airlines funny, man. always had better seat than me. He did. He'd like that to be known. Son of a bitch. He sat in front of me. Hmm. Yeah, the rich get richer. Piece of shit. He's a good guy, man. I love him. What? Who's in first place baseball wise? Uh, the Dodgers are killing it. Yankees are killing it. Um, yeah, Mariners are doing good, but we picked a bad <laughs> year to get hot because every other team is way hot. Fernando Tatis Jr. just got popped for steroids. That's some baseball news. Really? Yeah, he's gonna be suspended the whole year. How many people are doing steroids? Do you think? Nobody does steroids no more. <laughs> That's why it's such a big deal that, that he true? got popped. Yeah, because their bodies like, don't look as muscular. Well, it's just like how are you gonna get caught in twenty twenty two doing steroids? Like it was different when it was, uh, you know. Well, he yeah. What are you doing them now for? Can I just say I Keep assume that they're up. always gonna be ahead. What do you mean? The te just chemistry and underground, you know, <clears throat> labs are always going to be one step ahead uh, as far as the techniques to the evasion is always going to be one step ahead of detection. So much harder to do, but I think if you have the money, you have the resources, you have the willingness to do it, there's a compound out there right now that's undetectable. Mm. Uh, you know, people are always getting caught retroactively, like Dmitry Klokov in the Olympic lifting, you know. 10 years later it's like you're juicing i like to i like uh i always love hearing the athletes try to wiggle out of it that's always my favorite they get popped it goes public and then the athletes always like oh uh i accidentally mixed up my sports drink uh oh the other day i was at the park and i fell into some steroids like they always have a terrible story Dan Bilzerian said he was on i don't know what it was on he was saying people have no fucking idea how many actors and athletes how everybody is juicing i might well, be, the thing you and i might be the only guys not doing it well the cops juice every cop juice i want them on steroids i want them bigger yeah. and stronger and faster i heard a ton of the fire department is on steroids also it's okay to be on steroids if you're not in pro baseball or pro like that's the, the only reason it's bad is because they've made a rule about it yeah. in a sport yeah it's not against the law for mark harley to do steroids look at him it sure, it sure oh. isn't yeah <laughs> Jim, what do you got let's see what we got here all right current events it's current events do you want to start off with something that's kind of like yeah crazy it's gonna feel bad watching it sure not okay. at all i don't feel bad watching anything <laughs> Not I watched 9-11 on loop at my house. Oh, so we can't play this, this on air, nuts, but man. you watched the what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. This was crazy. This yeah, so. Oh, yeah, dude, I love this, this clip so kid much. Was a teenager. This is, I haven't like, seen this. It's a smoke shop. This is a 22-year-old owner, and these two guys come in with this masks. This guy's done this before. This Why are they trying to steal vape? Watch how calm. They're trying to steal the money. Yeah. Oh. I love that Jeff hasn't seen this. I haven't seen it. This, I don't like this. That's a terrible uh, mask. Jacob. He said his name. How stupid is this fucking Oh, That's a knife. Oh my God, boy! He lived though, right? I hope. I didn't get the actual. That's a big update. blade. 
He goes, I'm yeah. dead. And then he just kind of drops him here and well, walks calmly. Old school, no, that dude. That kid's been doing it a long no time. No guns or nothing. That kid's done it before. That stupid teenager who just got his fucking life cut up. So wait, so can we figure out what happened to that kid? Yeah. Um, well, I was going to say. I love I knife the next stuff. few days, <laughs> it, he was still alive. Um, I hope he's still alive. From what I read, they didn't get the uh, details from those two kids. Like, it's nowhere, but if Mark could find it. I hope he lived. Because that kid was just. I know, because he's just a stupid kid that tried to. I, I don't think he uh, was. Bad. He didn't have a weapon. But That's jumping over. That's 16 year old kid. Did he live? No. Nah. Okay, yeah. but also, let's take some responsibility. You wore a mask into a store. So stupid. Knowing, like, we're going to let's just go in there and jack this place. I mean, there's... The, that kid was Vietnamese, I think. You don't fuck around with Vietnamese or Asian or Korean, whatever the fuck he was. You, you, he, they, they thought, uh, this guy's Asian. He's a pussy. Good luck. <laughs> you don't know they thought that. <laughs> what but are you yeah, talking about? It. It's also, Yen, that, so he is Vietnamese. That was both ends of the Vietnamese. spectrum don't on crazy. <laughs> don't you fuck said, with Vietnamese. They'll you fuck said, you up. You don't fuck with the... Uh, the Vietnamese or Koreans or that. Japanese or whatever he was. <laughs> which then, I was already going, wait a minute. And then you go, uh, <laughs> oh, he's said, Asian, uh, he's a pussy. <laughs> he probably thought he's Asian, he's a pussy. Uh, they That's did. a crazy statement, I too. guarantee that, like, like people, they profile. They go, ah, that guy looks like he's fucking a nerd or something. Yeah, right. right. Good luck. Wait, the guy that stabbed him was uh, Vietnamese? Yeah. yeah. Really? He didn't yeah. look and he was calm old, as a cute Yeah, he looks like he's... Mixed, but you can yeah. only tell because of the footage. But yeah, it's kind of yeah. tough. Well, well so also, how bad of a robber are you if you go, hey, Jacob, come back here? No, they, were, they, they, were, both they, just, yeah. they were both teenagers. They're just, and they were just dumb. Even the way that they were like, uh, they, they were so nervous, you could tell. Because he was they like, why are you guys there. wearing masks like that? And they're like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh. It's like, what? That's wild. Wait, so you guys feel bad for the kid that got stabbed? Yeah, I do, because I think he was just a stupid kid. I didn't think he's going to get stabbed with No or weapon. Shot. He got in there yeah. without a weapon. He was like, let's rob the store. It's one of those dumb things you do when you're 16 yeah. years old, and then you get stabbed like that, and it can fuck you up for the... You can yeah. die. And then, and then your mother's like, oh, my God, you know, it's... Yeah, well, I don't mind guys who have guns who come in and try to kill somebody and they get fucking shot in the face. I got no problem with that. It's a 16-year-old kid who's not thinking, whose brain isn't fully developed, and he's like, I'm going to do something crazy, and then he gets stabbed 15 times. Yeah, that was a it big blade, sucks, too. Man. Did you see the size of that blade? Oh, man. That was no joke. And he just stabbed him all over the joint. Dude, oh. everywhere. The legs. Yeah, the legs. Arms, the back. Like he, was <laughs> he hit him here on the first one. I was going, ooh, that's a bad spot Damn, to get that dude. size of a blade in. Oh, so all right, so I don't know. I don't know whose side I'm on. It all seemed pretty. No, no, no you, which is all super that. exciting. The, the, the shopkeeper is in his right because that guy came over. Hey, jump! And then you don't know what's going to happen, so you're allowed to defend yourself, which he did. I was hoping Jacob would get stabbed, though, not the other kid. Dude, know. he stabbed which him one's... right fucking there too. It, one little step over here, he would have been dead, but he yeah, got yeah. him there. Looks like he got his trap. He goes, uh, oh, I'm, I'm dead. There, uh, somebody you know was arguing with me. Actually, I think it was Jay actually on the road, Jay Shop. Um, was saying no, he's going to be prosecuted. I, just sort of guessing, looking at the scenario and going, you can't, you can defend yourself, but you can't do this, right? There's different oh, yeah. nuances. Now, in a state like Nevada, I assume it's not going to be, uh, you know, super uptight about a shop, op a shop owner stabbing a criminal, but it's an interesting little legal. It's like define defending yourself. Sure. All these First of all, the yeah, guy yeah. jumped over the counter. Yeah. When you jump over the counter with a mask, you, you, your lawyer is going to be like, dude, he didn't know what the fuck to expect. People get shot all the time. That's my perspective. Yeah. Yeah. All he did was go, he said, can you guys please there. leave? And when he said that, the guy jumped yeah. over and he went, yeah. I'm not fucking waiting for this guy to draw me. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom. The, the jury, the, the, I don't even think a DA takes that case. Versus, I think DA goes, versus fuck what this. if he's running away and you go and stab him? Sure, that's... Well, you know. he did turn his back, but even then, like, it, it happened so quickly. You're just like, get yeah. away from me. Here's right. a question. So, like, let's say those jump over the thing. They steal, like, cartridges or whatever the heck they were trying to steal or money. And then they leave. He goes, calls the cops. The cops come. They give him the footage to the cops. What happens? This kids probably just get away with yeah. it, right? It's Definitely. not like the cops go, oh, okay, here's a voucher for all they, the they stolen goods. Right? And there's not like an insurance no. company's going to give you, right? Like, because everyone, that's a really annoying thing. Is people think it's okay to do bad things to businesses because they go, well, they got insurance. It's like, well, at this age, I know a lot of business owners now, and it's not really that easy. No, yeah. you know, it's not just like, oh yeah, insurance That's covers everything, and go no. ahead and put spray paint all over because who cares? It's just right. a business. Well, that was the thing with BLM. Yeah. When they were tearing up businesses, had nothing to do with BLM. They were just destroying entire businesses. Right. 
all up and down Melrose. And, and stuff. those are people. Fuck that. People, people own who, businesses who, who and they get work their they ass can, off. Right. It's very tough to do that. Yeah. But what I was going to say is, so maybe that's another reason. This guy's going, this is my fucking shop and these teenagers are about to jack me. And I'm supposed to just put my hands up. People and then die that way all the time. When you're a store owner like that, yeah. you're very aware that people die, get shot and yeah. stabbed and killed all the time that way. When he might also be naive a, like me thinking like, well, it's just a knife. Like I'm not going to go to, if I had a gun and I shoot a teenager, I might get, you know, in trouble. But it's just yeah. a knife. Knife you know, the same. Who man. knew he'd do so good with that knife? Yeah, man. <laughs> He was really good at it. That was an expert, yeah. That's a small knife, actually. It's about... It that looks wasn't like, small. It's like, like a six-inch knife. It's like under... Let's take a look I again. I think it's gigantic, bro. I don't, I don't like watching it. I'm into I mean, it. just to see the knife I size. I had to watch it. So look at nice. that. Look how long it is. Right? It's, I think right it's... There. A, yeah, it's That's a big, a big blade. blade. And I don't know if you could hear this, Jeff, but the guy goes, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, as I don't he collapses. Like look at how he stabs. Now, he didn't die, but... This dude knows what the fuck he's doing. This He's just not relenting. That's the spot. shot right there. I was going to say earlier, you got to treat this like if you're a kid, we should teach kids to go, this thing you're about to do, what's the worst case scenario? Right. You're envisioning robbing this place. These so videos are the, good. Right. Man. What's the worst possible? Have you just considered yeah. the option that this guy could kill you? Right. You know, People need to think about that when they road rage, yeah. when they do any of these things like... Man, if you unleash the the dragon in certain people, like this, he's thinking, oh man, we'll just, well, worst case, we'll get a arrest, we'll get a slap on the wrist for stealing if we get caught for robbing this yeah. place. Nope, nope. You're, you, you get a wheelchair, my guy. Like you, 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 your life is significantly different uh, because you wanted worst. to. I, I, I don't know what happened. To these guys, they say they say nothing. I think they no. Did. As far as I saw, like the, I guess maybe because they're young, they don't want to give updates on. Yeah. The, oh yeah, something. that's probably right. He was taken right. to the hospital, you know. Yeah, that's. And a few do days we know that they're young? Yeah. 17 -ish? oh he yeah. said that yeah there was like oh, three guys arrested and, and one guy was going to be arrested at the hospital well i saw a kid uh just on facebook the other day him and his buddies like for fun they used to just throw shit off the bridge oh, fuck. just for fun i used to do that all the time but we did like water balloons and mm -hmm. stuff these guys were throwing couches and they were throwing like uh rocks they threw a muffler they threw like all this different stuff and a rock went through the windshield and killed a guy yeah. Like immediately, because the car was driving so fast yep. and the rock was so big that it just hit the guy's head, Douchebags. killed him immediately. No, great and those kids, one of the kids going to jail, second degree murder for like yeah. 30 years. Oh, yeah. And they're just punk kids yeah. who are throwing also, shit off though, bridges. Also, they're, they're shitheads. Also, I'm not, I'm not supporting them, <laughs> but I'm saying in the same way, <laughs> that they didn't I think about less, the consequences. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're but, sitting there going, oh, we killed a guy. Yeah. yeah. And that and they includes didn't even, human consequences where it's like, hey, it doesn't not just like things could happen to you think about yeah a man person. died yeah a guy who's like he's gonna about to be you know he's about to i think he just was like engaged he had like a regular life he also didn't do anything wrong he's just riding in a passenger seat of his friend's car like yeah just now every time you go under a bridge i think oh man maybe did your parents ever say them uh the thing to you my dad always used to say this don't ever punch someone don't ever sucker punch somebody because you can kill somebody with one hit and you would reference like you know your cartilage. i don't know if that's yeah, true yeah. Cartilage goes in your right. nose. but you can kill somebody with one hit because yeah. if you knock them out and they fall in concrete my dad my dad hit a dude and he, he his head it was at a bus stop with my mother he punched the dude yeah and the dude and my dad when he was in his 20s was 6'4 235 yeah. 240 just giant irish guy Boom! Hits him in the in the face, and he said the guy fell back and hit his head so hard on the pavement that probably happened. That my a lot. dad he, he combed the obituaries, thought he was going to jail. He, right. He, he looked at the obituaries a, for about two weeks after that. Yeah. Like, I'm fucked and dead guy. That's your head. Out. The guy, the Six feet was, on concrete. Yeah, I might have done that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ooh. scary stuff, man. Well, you know, and I've really learned something here today. You know. Yeah. That I don't know what I how I feel about. I don't know what I shop owners how I defending feel. their businesses. Wow, because you guys were really uh, you guys had some opinions about the it. the major response to when you look at the no, comments. I, everybody's like, "Yeah, fuck that kid." It's a sort of a visceral response, especially with everything that's going on now, where yeah. you go, "People are being robbed and getting away with I it." Like it. you I like this? It. This guy's a you know. No, I, I get it. I'm not. I'm not for criticizing the yeah. guy who stabbed him. I'm not yeah. criticizing oh, that guy. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a fan of anybody who protects themselves. I'm just saying. I think in that case, that was some stupid fucking kid with his whole life ahead of him, and he just tried to do something daring and brazen. Or if he was like tough like you guys, like UFC stuff, if he'd have just knocked him out, right? Just like punched him in the fucking side of the head and yeah. like put his knee on, like you, we'd be rooting for him, wouldn't we? Yeah. yeah. That we guy could good easily have had a knife himself, though. But yeah. the knife yeah. makes it a real big, yeah. uh, like, that oh, boy. for keeps. Because the yeah. store owner's yeah. thinking about worst case scenarios, too. The, the store owner did say that he thought that the guy could have a gun, sure. but he thought also like probably didn't, but he, 
he has to imagine that case. he did like have a, a cop. Gun. Yeah. yeah, the store owner shouldn't say yeah. shit without a lawyer right now. I'm, yeah, so he was talking to the news stations. Yeah. Well, I, don't I don't know. He's <laughs> doing. I mean, he's doing a whole victory lap. Going, Did you guys see me? <laughs> yeah, it's just so violent. It's just ah, uh, it's, yeah, it's so awful. crazy to watch. Anne Hache. Anne Hache. This was crazy. Dead. She's been like going on a this crazy spiral, downward spiral, right for a while with I guess. alcohol, drugs. So she she did die. But then I'll show you some of the footage of her driving through before oh, she crashed into the there's house. Footage of this? Yeah. Holy moly! This of is course. prior to her. TMZ so that's her dodging, it. like li literally, almost hit this guy in an alleyway. You see how fast she's going? Yeah, Boom. real quick. Oof. And there's one where she's speeding. And a ring camera catches it. She's what? You'll see right here. This is a ring camera. Yep. And this is down a regular street. That's like Whoa. flying down the street. Oh, and then I think you could hear it. There it goes, Oof. yeah. Into wow. the house. That's wild. And that's the house. Damn. That she drove through. Yep. And it was just some random person's house. Yeah. And her car caught fire. And then she was in the car for like a long time, right? Mm-hmm. These poor people in that house. I know. I think it, everyone in the house is fine. Oh, they're as okay. Far as I know. Just lost some stuff. Yeah. <sighs> well, the whole house, of it, pretty much. What is the deal? What What's this lady with her, saying? Man? Was she just? She just. Went so they thought crazy? she tons of drugs. I bet. I heard there was some sort of a breakup, and then she was on cocaine, and she just wasn't in a good place. So who knows? But she's been down going the, down this downward spiral for I a while now. I think she tried to kill herself. Right? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. It looks like that. Why would you do it that way? I don't know. I don't Usually don't women are very like uh, particular about their suicides. Right. Yeah, according to Malcolm Gladwell. Uh, <laughs> I read that. In Wait, what did he say? Well, he's yeah. just talking particular. about like. Uh, You're not blowing your brains out. Well, like right, yeah, I'm trying to think what book it was. It was a. Uh, I don't remember what the book, which book it was. He's got so many It's his book called uh, Self Harm. <laughs> yeah, it's his yeah. book called <laughs> When Jeff Wants to Talk About <laughs> Ladies Killing Themselves. Yeah. Well, anyways, the, he's basically, the idea is like this. The San Francisco, the Golden Gate Bridge, right? All these people are jumping off of it. Yeah. And so then one guy was like, hey, what we should do is like put a net there that will catch them or put some sort of fence that they can't jump off the thing. And it kept getting voted no because everyone's like, well, they'll just find a different way to kill themselves. We're not saving anybody. Mm -hmm. We're just, they'll just they find were, a different way. They? But it turns out that if you take away someone's way to kill themselves, that makes them go, oh, yeah. well, that's the way I was going to do it. I just won't do it now. Yes. Yeah. Because they're very it's particular. Yeah, it's yeah. like, they, especially women are very romantic about how they kill themselves. They don't want to leave a mess usually, so like they usually uh, won't yeah. blow their brains out, where really? men don't care. They'll, They'll just blow their brains yeah. out. Women will think like, well, who's going to find my body? Wow. Yeah. Who's going to see this? Wow. Well, you know, so like it's very like intimate about how they will kill themselves. Damn. So that's why women tend to not kill themselves. That's heartbreaking. This is... Pretty reckless. I don't know if I would call that a suicide. My I would buddy, just call well, she that. Was on, she was on all kinds of drugs and uh, and they vodka. Just, my buddy, my buddy was a cop, and and he would investigate cold cases. Um, he would he was it would international in international waters. Weird. Mm -hmm. And there was a woman. Same thing. She she went on a cruise. Yeah. And she wrote all these poems, and she fucking waded herself down. In the middle of the night, she waited till she was in the deepest part of the ocean. She'd done all the research. Yeah. And she waded herself down with a backpack and, and, and she, she tied it. She tied, she had a chain on her body so she couldn't Undo get it, it off. And she just jumped into the water, man, at the deepest part of the ocean and just yeah. left a note and just disappeared. And that, that's interesting, man, because yeah. she just wanted to like kind of just disappear. And what do you that think makes about me fucking sad. Dude. Yeah, it sucks. It makes me sad, dude. Well, also like <laughs> going down. Same with same with the bridge because they, you know, the that documentary that uh, people jumped off the bridge and they'd have footage of it. The people who survived were like, the moment I jumped off, I regretted it. Yeah. You know and what's going to fuck you guys up is when you have kids. Because when you have kids, everything becomes unbearably sad when you think so so I think about Anne Hayes, I think about people jumping off the bridge. When you have kids, you know that it sounds fucked up, but like you know that's somebody's child, yeah, and you know that's somebody's mother. You know that, and man, dude, it's like when you, it, it's it's unfathomable in a yeah. way. Yeah. Well, I don't it have just to have kids to. No, I know you like don't. I know you don't. But, but, but I've become I'm a huge pussy and responsibility. Now. I'm just a big pussy. I'm yeah. a way bigger pussy now that I have children. But yeah, but also I'm just at an age where I cry easy yeah. and see things. Like I, I think maybe you just you might be blaming your kids for just becoming a good Older. guy. <laughs> yeah, like you're just a nice guy. Yeah, you, I am. The things you thought were cool when you were 19 or when you were 16 or 12 isn't what you think is cool now. Now you value humans and life. And I was always that way. I was always um, somebody who 
cared about people's feelings way too much mm -hmm. and that fucked me up a lot yeah. like I, I i would always bring like rogan would always say especially <clears throat> women and stuff he goes you bring broken and crazy into your life all the time dude and it's gonna bite you in the ass yeah, yeah. and it did and and i was broken and crazy yeah, you know looking back on it you have to take responsibility for how broken and crazy you were because if you would you would bring that in because it was a way of staying broken and crazy maybe i don't know yeah but 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 you know i would always try to fix people yeah it, well see i'm a little desensitized to things that aren't in my circle of life right so it's like i always say this like you can't care about everything right so like for example like all these people die every day yeah why aren't you sad about that why aren't you sad that 10 people just died in Vietnam right now? Like I don't in, know. No connection. Because you didn't know them, right? So I kind of do the same thing with these, and people go, Jeff, you're being insensitive. I go, I don't know Anne Heche. Yeah. I'm sorry that it didn't affect me. Because yeah. I don't know. She's as much of a person I don't know as those 10 people that I just referenced yeah. just died. It's true. I just it, don't know we them. You could be never. Able to say that. I'm not happy about it. Yeah. But also, I've, I'm able to. Yeah. make light of it and, and yeah. not really make it ruin my day because yeah. i don't know them if i found out you even had like I, I mean the first time i ever met you i was like hey man i think it's bull like i like i love you and like yeah. so now it affects me yeah it's yeah. like but if it's outside my sphere yeah we're not, we're can't not care about everything evolve for that yeah you know we, well and and Heche, and Heche, i think like she'd had her life i think her dad molested her and then both her parents died of aids Really? How about that? Damn. Is that true? Yeah, look that shit yeah. up. She had a fucking. I had to Google. Job. I was at a, a, a pool party on Sunday, and I had kidding. to. Uh, yeah. I was at a pool party on Sunday, and I had to actually Google who Anne Hache was because everyone there was like actors yeah. and stuff. And they're like, "Did you guys hear about Anne Hache?" Yeah. I had to Google Anne Hache. I never heard of her. Look at that. What Sexual assault at the hands of her father, man. Biophobia. Anti-gay mom who denied. Oh yeah, that's a re dude. Multiple levels of mess you up as a kid going on. And uh, those are the type of people that, that commit suicide, right? Oh, what? Yeah, dude. Everyone? Well, severe childhood uh, trauma. Uh, oh, sure. Her um, father sexually assaulted her when she was a child and the family experienced homelessness. Her father died of AIDS How'd you know in this? 1983. I thought this was a thing you made up or something. Look at that. And her brother was killed in a car crash. She's been through some shit, dude. Yeah. Come on. Think about that. Her uh, father died of AIDS. <sighs> One month exactly after I was born. Yeah. I was born February 4th, 1983. And, and she wow. was how old? I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm uh, 39, so she would have been 20 or something. She's like, she was like uh, She'd have been 12 or 13, I'm guessing. Why do I look so fucking young, you guys? <laughs> yeah, you look good, buddy. I'm all right. It must be tough just aging as a lady in Hollywood, too. The toughest, yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck, dude. Are you kidding me? To be, uh, to be her might not have been as exciting as it was uh, a while back. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, I would say that's exactly another. Right. So that's another. Your father does that to you. You're done. 100%. Fucking. Right, yeah. Because yeah, your whole identity shit, is, bro. my identity and existence is rejected by my father or my parent. All her rough. childhood until she was 12. Okay, well, good luck. Good luck with that. It says well, she was molested until, until she was 12. So when she was a she kid, went through some like shit, a little man. kid. Brother died in a car crash. Dad, dad dies of AIDS, which is probably a blessing, but also fun. And then up. now, and in it, modern times, in 2022, she dies in a house fire. In a car crash, too. Weird house oh. fire. Weird. What else? What a fucking mess. <laughs> well, add that to it. There but was then, yeah, a... They had to, dude, they, they had to pull the plug on her. She was like essentially brain, yeah, dead, brain dead in the hospital. They, they, I think they donated her organs. All right, they were looking at if they're good. We're, we're, that's, that's an interesting yeah. thing. This donated. is a fucking uplifting show, everybody. Uh, uh, yeah, people like this, you know. Let's get but some magic take They on. donate organs that are from. Well, here's a weird thing I'm about organ, donor. donor. organ donors. Like, I remember being like, I'm a, yeah, you can have. I don't care. Do anything with my Me body. Too. I'm dead, dude. I'm. I don't even. You know, I don't need to be in a cemetery or any of that stuff. It's such a waste. But I didn't realize that they're not gonna take my heart and go give it to some kid that just got blasted by a school bus who yeah. needs a heart uh they basically donated them to like science like did college I? kids do like work oh, on really? it yeah no, they, i wouldn't want that yeah oh, that's what that. i'm saying yeah, yeah. like you you're not being as noble as a donor organ donor as you might think you're oh, being i thought i was that's what i was doing hold on my driver's <laughs> yeah. license says organ donor. yeah Fuck this <clears throat> that's annoying Here's a quick one. So we're doing a fight companion this Saturday at nice. 11 a.m. And then she was the co-main event. She's a very pretty girl. Yeah. She used to fight for the UFC. Uh, so she pulled out, but there's no real reason why she pulled out. She just 
wrote this message. Interesting. I did not pull from my fight. I was pulled and pissed, heartbroken. I worked my. She spelled F&F. worked wrong. I know she's she's pissed off right now. She's my effing ass off people. to be pulled. She a also week screenshotted before. her notes. <laughs> and then so she also, you know, you can just tweet. <laughs> All right, this you're is super pissed off. Um, uh, let me show her your her Instagram real quick. What's this with uh, what's TJ talking? I don't. It just pops up sometimes, but this is her Instagram. She has her own she's little so thing hot. called Jesus Christ PageFansant.com. Mm. Which is her version of OnlyFans. She's hot for a fighter. Yeah. But um, there's a go. Oh, there you go. What is that pose? That's her boyfriend That's who's her also a fighter. Husband or husband. Or husband. Stud fighter. I don't know, but what are these photos? <laughs> it's to promote her website Good for people God. to go there. Her Instagram, Let me just tell you, fans. listeners, if I get married or have a girlfriend, we're not posting shit like that. <laughs> no. Whatever. What if you made like... I think she makes a few hundred thousand a month. She's already making money. I think she makes all the money. Yeah, she's mul- probably like a multimillionaire. By she didn't now. have to post that to make money. She's making more money though. So she made she made money off that post right there. You wouldn't, you wouldn't do that? No. What about the reverse? What if you were bent over like that? No. And she was your hair? This is insane. That this is even a normal thing. You're you're coming off like a, a real Christian conservative right now. Why? Like you're like this is just disgusting. This like, is what, on our okay, what about it is yeah. wrong to you? Oh. What, what it's just uh it's unnecessary it's distasteful so it brings people to that website and then they have to subscribe uh-huh. so yeah. this is kind of like enticing them you know yeah. tempting them but is it not like social media is unnecessary oh yeah you, you guess unnecessary is not the right word i find it it, stri- uh, it strikes a chord gratuitous with you. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's very gratuitous <laughs> it's pretty hardcore yeah. considering it's instagram yeah, like it's it makes you uncomfortable well and right. i guess um, let me think let me chew on it a little more here's the thing <laughs> if if like it's a porn star i go yeah of course that's what they're mm-hmm. doing but this is a girl we're supposed to respect as a fighter and a man we're supposed to respect as a fighter. He's like, here's a photo of me and my wife doggy stuff. It just <laughs> seems like they're not. I think some things should be for you guys, yeah. not for us. Mm-hmm. But that is a, that's a taste thing. You know? I, but here's what yeah, I thought. That might be a generation. Here's what I thought was, if it was my wife or if it was my girl, I made it about me. Yeah. I, I, I think when you do that, you are um, putting yourself in a certain category. <laughs> Let's put it that way. What do you think when you see that? Um, I get hard. <laughs> I go, how, well, I just think to myself, like, how embarrassing that you posted I, no, that on the I'm internet. I'm with you in the sense that, like, I'm part of my brain goes, there's nothing wrong with that, Mark, at all. People can do whatever they want. People can do whatever goes, they want. You would never do that. Yeah, actually, Because, this is, again, I do, like, I have this feeling of, like, you know, like when people want to do, like, kissing, like, photos, I'm like, right. kissing the bedroom. I, I think Here's I, why I, I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I just th- thought about it. So, okay, like, I'll be loud with my guys in the bar, and we'll have a good time. We're hooting and hollering. We're saying stuff. We're joking around. It's great. We're having yeah. fun, right? There's a difference between that in a bar than those dumb pedal cart things you'll see where everyone's drinking, and they're pedaling, oh, and they're going down. <laughs> You're like, why did you need to be observed? <laughs> that's a great Just analogy. go have fun in the bar. I think what you're talking about. I don't, I don't love those two. Yeah. I'm sure they're great people, and I hope <laughs> they, they have are. great sex, and I hope yeah. they're awesome fighters. I don't need to see them butt humping on Instagram. Maybe, maybe. Why what, did they need to make me view that? Maybe what you're objecting to is that it's, it's a little bit vulgar. I'm suggesting. And, and what I mean by that is, it makes that there's what no they mystery. have it's, seem fucking fraudulent. Yeah, well, that they need me to view it. Hmm. They're they're monetizing their they're monetizing. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Their. Uh, I guess that's what I'm judging. They're monetizing their. There's a pornographic aspect. To, it makes me not really respect the the thing, you know. Very hot though. I'll tell you, they are. <laughs> Good looking people. I, I thought about this. I like women being sexy in pictures and stuff like that. And I'll post shirtless pics, but I always try to have like a funny caption or something. It's hard for me to take myself seriously in a like, I'm being sexy right now context. Yeah. And then put that online. Let's you do know, a like, photo shoot it's where whatever I'm choking they're... you and putting my yeah. finger in your mouth. It's like, why don't you just <laughs> I, I, do I, I, right. that? I couldn't make a joke. I, I couldn't help but make a joke out of it. You know? Yeah. Then, again, then again, we are Silly talking funny. about it and just, it's working. <laughs> and they're making a lot of money. Right. Well, yeah. good. I'm sure they're going to make a ton of money. Yeah. And I, God bless them. It's yeah. just weird to me that I, I had to view I, it. I've actually spent some time with both of them and they're fucking great so <laughs> it'd be like uh being yeah. like hey Callan, check out this picture of my cock <laughs> and then you go hey man i don't want to see that and i go oh god you're coming <laughs> off real christian conservative <laughs> cocks are normal dude yeah 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 i show Callan my <clears throat> cock and all of a sudden he gets all conservative on me 
Why, you getting, all, why are you getting all tight? Yeah, it's just my don't heavy be weird. Dick. I just posted my cock on the internet. Just because and everybody and everybody's judging me. Mm-hmm. All right, here's some of Mark's. I know what you're saying. I'm gonna go with the Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure. sure the comments are gonna light me up for that one. Nice. The cat can dance, dog. <laughs> Cats I could watch this all day. <laughs> Surprisingly captivating. There you go. So this is what TikTok should be. <laughs> Cats doing cute the little dances. The person doing the dance that she's she's working doing right. this dance. Imagine the time that you'd spend into this, right? Because the choreography is actually really yeah, and that nice cat's hands are very bendy. <laughs> yeah, got a lot of joints. I didn't know that. Did they break the cat's so arms? There so many joints this? in there. Cats are supple, video. bro. I didn't yeah. know that. The word you're looking for is supple. Yeah, do these cats do yoga or something? Fuck yeah, they supple. <laughs> Wait, who posted that? Mark did? Uh, no, no I, it was just something I saw online. That's that great, that bud. The That's the story of the week. <laughs> Everybody wants to talk about Anne Heche in that house fire, but got a cat I'm into this cat. Cat dancing. this? Who's this guy? Uh, Mark Andre Feely. Yes, so he was doing stand up, and I actually thought it was pretty good. He's Who a is UFC it? fighter. UFC fighter. Oh, okay. Guys, don't laugh. I'll feel right at home because I've been in a relationship for six years to the same uh, girl, and she don't laugh at anything I say anymore. <laughs> We're six years in, so she's like four and a half years past thinking anything that I fucking say is funny. Um, like she used to say shit. Like when we first started dating, she'd be like, she'd be like, oh my god, I love your sense of humor. You are so. So funny, and now she says shit like, uh, "Everything's a big fucking joke to you, isn't it?" <laughs> yeah, it's good. Now they're doing a UFC comedy jam, huh? They are. Is Brendan headlining that? <laughs> no. He's got to be the most famous UFC he has comic. To be a comedian for sure, without yeah. a doubt. That's I don't cool. think, he, I don't think he'd want nice. to do that. Like, that's his What's first that? time. Brendan hates stuff. being associated with like the UFC. Like he. Hates oh, he doesn't like that. People, people will stop on the street and go, like, "Oh man, uh, like." They'll bring up fighting, or do you ever want to get back? And he's irritated by that question because I think he's still. Now I've encouraged him to be like, I think you should bring it back more and talk about your fighting more. I think he's like, at the end of a phase where he's like, I don't want to do have anything to do with like fighting in my comedy. That makes sense. I would do jokes about it. It's because I think you can circle back. Yeah, because he's such a giant guy. And also maybe maybe someone because you know not everyone that sees Brendan Schaub knows everything about Brendan Schaub, Mm -hmm. so they might be thinking look at the size of this fucking guy. (laughs) Right. You know they might think that. So if he references it, yeah, it might help. The the perspective you have now, even like whatever, ten years out of the league, it's it's different. Yeah, every premise could start when when I was fighting. <laughs> Back in my day, because yeah. I mean, imagine this must be some great material, and like only he could do. Yeah, I can't say that. I've never been able to say when I was when fighting. I, was fighting. <laughs> I know. Yeah. When they used to lock the cage, <laughs> and I was there with another monster. Who's this well, gal? Okay. She, her pronouns, and I'm a licensed professional counselor and sex therapist in Erie, Pennsylvania. And today, I want to talk about minor attracted persons what is it and minor attractive maps about minor attracted persons because they are Pedophiles. probably the most vilified population of folks in our culture and most folks are making incorrect assumptions about them mm. without actually knowing much about them <clears throat> and those assumptions create Fuck harm for an already marginalized population you may have noticed that I'm using the term minor uh, attracted persons, sometimes abbreviated to MAPS, instead of the more commonly used term pedophile. Right. And I'm yep. doing this because the term pedophile has moved from being a diagnostic label to being a judgmental, hurtful insult that we hurl at people in order to harm like them. Like the way we call you a bozo. <laughs> yeah. You so fucking prefer, dope. Person first language that recognizes that any label we might apply to a person is only part of who they are and doesn't represent everything that they are. We are all people first with Good many God. different facets or parts of ourselves. And this includes folks who are attracted to minors. I wonder if Anne Heche would agree with this lady. Uh, <laughs> right. That's, I bet she that's wouldn't. Yeah, callback. I bet she wouldn't. Uh, but, you know, whenever somebody like this gets up here and does this, it's, it's just, it, it shows you what a fucking moron, like what morons on whatever side she's on, mm-hmm. whatever side you want to talk about. If it's this crazy far left, it's just as crazy as the, the far right or worse. But, I mean, 
And apparently You're not doing she's yourself a any favors, licensed honey. counselor and sex therapist. She's licensed. Yeah, yeah, they are marginalized and vilified because I'd like to punch him. I'd like to yeah. shoot him in the face. God, I'm so tired of pedophile. that kind of stuff. And I know that oh, people wait, 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 will. Wait, wait, if you're a pedophile, <laughs> but turn yourself <laughs> in, huh? or like, or this voluntarily yeah. castrate yourself, you know, or kill yourself. That's mm -hmm. how. How's that sound? People are. Who, oh, this guy. How? Okay, before you start it, who is? Why does this guy pop up? On everything I have, because he he gained the system. Yeah. yeah, he did some kind of a like. If you Ponzi subscribe thing. to him, they have to post about him or something like that. So he yeah. was just getting. He has his hustlers university. It was thing. insane. It, right, hey, but there's, they're all different channels. It's not one channel, right? Yeah. So well, also stop calling bad things clever. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like when you go. Yeah, but we're talking. Yeah, I know. Well. We're talking about it because it's wrong. You think right. And you go, no, oh, but isn't that channels. great? Aren't they smart? You're like, no, they're not smart. They're evil. But he's actually entertaining. Oh, well, yeah, but what I was going to say is like, <laughs> my algorithm knows Jeff, man, knows me. It yeah. all, my whole, every the algorithm is just showing me home runs, dogs, you know, beautiful women, yep. boobs, mm -hmm. like that. Like it, it knows what I'm into. Mm -hmm. But then this guy will pop up. And then also M Millie Brown, whoever this fucking chick is uh, from Stranger, Stranger Things. Why is her shit popping up? I, know. I have to keep going. Un un I don't like, don't send me uh, stuff like this. It's always Millie Brown, home runs, baseball, and this guy. All right, so go ahead. I don't Sorry. Know. No, no worries. Andrew w -A -P. Tate. I think that stands for wet ass pussy. Is that what it stands for? Yeah. So by Cardi B and some of the talking to? Stallion or some shit. Beat it up, baby. Catch a charge. Can't play that. Complaining about the lyrics. So I listen to the song, I listen to the lyrics. Everyone's saying they're degenerate and they're disgusting. Sure. That's what women want. <laughs> WAP, WAP, is a sex manual for men. She's telling you exactly how to fuck so that right. women don't leave you and don't cheat on you. So if you listen to these lyrics and you're like, oh, I can't believe she said what? Oh my God. And you're offended by it. Yeah. Well, then you're a little bitch. Not really. It's on you. I don't want my kids to hear it, you also dork. Going, yeah. <laughs> it's on the radio, you fuck. Yeah, obviously. Oh, I was like, duh, duh. That's what they want. That's what they've always wanted. People are. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, I don't want pushback. Brian Callen's kids <laughs> going on the floor on TikTok whapping. That's what I don't want. By the way, I don't I, want I've Brendan Schaub's kids singing in the back seat <laughs> to his lovely wife yeah. and him going, wet ass pussy. That's what we don't like, dum dum. And I've seen it. I'm grown up. I can hear wet ass pussy. I don't want society running around bouncing their pussy on the kitchen floor. Vulgarity. At eight years old Vulgarity. doing Instagram reels. Yeah, but obviousness. Unoriginal. Obviousness. Yeah. Also, I also don't like to think of women like that because we were told to respect women. Right. Now it's gone. Don't objectify us. All objectify us. Yeah, yeah. Don't objectify me. All objectify As me. As a weapon. Yeah. I learned how wholesome Jeff is this episode. Yeah, I'm a it's, good guy. It's interesting. Well, if a guy we're spoke to like that women, way, right? If a guy we're not spoke to... that way about her, uh, the, her and did a song like that, he'd be canceled. So yeah, let's just talk about. Well, it's that. like we don't uh, like that's like it's, you can't say be respectful to us. But then also, hey, why can't I talk about buckets of fluid coming out of my <laughs> pussy? <laughs> you go, well, that seems like a crass way to talk. Yeah, crass yeah. is the right word. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm not mad about me. I can handle it. It's about, the, it's it's about being on the radio. I think it's interesting. Most of us <clears throat> have this sort of like, we do that. We all go, I don't know, it doesn't sit well with me. Why? Yeah. It's like, it's, I don't really want a society that embraces anything. Yeah. Anything goes... I get accused of being uh, like sexist and a misogynistic just for in the tone of the way I like to joke Correct. about things. Correct. But yet I've never met a female comic who isn't toxically masculine. Huh. huh. Every female huh. comic huh. I've ever listened to <laughs> is just like, yeah, well, I, you know, I told him he better use me and wet ass. But it's always like this kind of bro talk. Yeah. They're That's allowed really to. Interesting point. So like I'm not allowed to be toxically masculine. In even the slightest. Yeah. But Cultural when women do it, it's like, isn't that different? <laughs> oh, she'll say anything. Oh, she's wild. Yeah. You're like, no, she's she's doing what we get in trouble for. Yeah. And I hate that inconsistency. Yeah, it seems stupid. That is sexist. That guy, uh, I like that guy generally, but that was a terrible take on his part. Do you guys agree or disagree with me? Am I wrong? Um, I think he's just funny. being, I don't take what he says seriously because I think he's just, he's being a, a firebrand. provocateur. Yeah, he's yeah. just being a firebrand. He's being silly and funny. The, the, the Nugget of the statement, though, is women want this. If you take it for that, it's going, hey, be, basically, women want you to be sexually aggressive in the bedroom. 
That was my takeaway. Yeah. I think he's just being, he's just a guy who, he's got a good sense of humor. I think he's just being silly. And, and he's like an about. outlandish over the I top love guy. that. I love that he talks about having, if you, if you have your friends, just put out a bunch of bubbly water. Glasses, just pour a bunch of glasses of water. And and it, and the first guy goes, oof, bubbles. He's yeah. Like, Never speak to that guy again. <laughs> I hope that I hope it's that he sees me. I hope that guy sees this clip. I watched you do one of your little Instagram videos, buddy, and I uh, liked it. I said, oh, I'll see more uh, about this guy. I like yeah. it. And then I clicked on the next one, and you basically ripped off a Jordan Peterson quote, uh, like two or three in a row. And I go, All right, I'm done with this guy. He's well, how do you know Jordan Peterson didn't rip off an Andrew Tate quote? Oh, I know he didn't. <laughs> uh, I got a feeling that the brilliantly sophisticated clinical psychologist isn't uh, isn't doesn't even know who that guy is <laughs> the guy that wants to fight the paul twins yeah or whatever <laughs> the guy paul smoking twins. cigars going hey wet ass pussies for bros i think that's uh, a fight that could happen yes i hope so yes I mean, now okay. he first was, called them out back when jake paul called he was, up Conor he was McGregor a legit was, fucking world champion yeah like, well then that maybe it won't happen because of that yeah Jake, we all game. we're all hoping for it now. Jake and and Logan both sound good. I get them mixed Dude, up, but I like Logan Paul. Shit. Oh. New molecule discovered that strongly stimulates hair growth. That guy I mean, looks like he has a lot of hair, though. Yeah, so I feel like you he's know, got a I great mean, somebody, hairline. Yeah. For so many scientific problems are like, well, I'll just give it ten years, whatever. We are on the verge of something big, I think. And uh, all the time, see, I'll get little grayer stuff like off the internet, like, oh, this is a a thing you could put on your head that binds to the androgen receptor in your scalp. It's not, you can't buy it at Walmart, but I can pay Bitcoin for it and get a powder and mix it with, you know. So there's all these things that are like, they have this powder that's being sent to me from Russia yeah. that was just approved by the, you know. We are trending in this direction of having way more. That's the only part of getting Walmart. older that I'm not crazy about is the, um, my. I think about my hair a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want this. People talk shit about my hair on this podcast. They go, oh, he's got a comb over or whatever. It's not a comb over. It's just I go like that. Are it's you just a, hair? It's like just a that. cool style. They go, oh, comb over. Are you, it's you feel comb, like a comb over is where it's bald and you got to yeah. comb it over. <laughs> yeah, it's like any 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 combing <laughs> of your hair is a comb. Guys, commenters that get a little aggressive. Uh, you know, they get, they, they, get they get in there. They try to find what you're insecure about. They go, oh, oh yeah. Looks like Jeff Sometimes. wants to. Look, yeah. we should target Jeff's hair. <laughs> they just want to run their fingers through it. Yeah, dude. it's okay. It's, it's all here. Don't worry about it. I'm a boy. But a lot of great Fight on the Kid Army people there too. So, oh man, I That's love. For I like you guys. Yeah. They like They're you. my favorite people. We um, like you. With a few trolleys. Uh, wait. So what is it? So what is this? Will help me grow my hair good? I mean, there's, there's like what, Mark? There's like the second or third newest things that came out this year about hair, like actual advancements and potentially yeah. regrowth, uh, regrowth of hair. Specifically, yeah. There's a few different mechanisms, dude, and this I'm one's so in line. Promising because it activates hair growth in the human hair follicles because it's one thing to stop it like yeah. finasteride is basically like it's stopping the falling out anti-androgens on your scalp stop the falling out but minoxidil stimulates hair growth by causing more blood flow to the area and if you can stimulate like micro needle oh, for yeah. example you're supposed to do that you do that to stimulate the follicle if you can do that you can grow a lot of hair Hey, how do you know I, about all this? You got a great head of hair. I'm not the best. Well, like you, I don't want to, you know. Yeah, you, you don't want to lose it. take it for granted, and then you're like, wait a second, like, yeah. you know. You, you got, you. You both losing, have good hairlines. losing any hair. You probably gained skinny. hair. Stop it, in you're your crazy. You fuck. <laughs> yeah, you look good, buddy. I'm worried Keep you're going to break that tiny chair, though. I know. It's, uh, We've got the biggest guy in here. He's sitting on what appears to be like a little fat makeup fat tray or something. Tiny chair. Yeah. He's, got, he's, got, he's got jeans and combat boots with no fucking socks, bro. Yeah. He's dope, dude. That's my Ryan guy. Can smell All right, what's in. next here? Uh, so this is from King of the Scene, but let me play this clip for you real quick. One of your co-stars, or even yourself, would you smash if you were a girl, bro? Huh? I already rendered the You'll pictures see. and all that shit. I'm going to send them over. And y'all let me know. Y'all looking pretty good. Would it take 10 beers, 5 beers, any beers? Maybe you're just that horny. Gang, gang. Buzz, buzz. Sore. Woo so this guy did a face swap on all the guys. So Theo Vaughn, Brendan, Eric, Griffin, Crystalia, then Nick and me. Okay. As girls, as women, right? Oh, okay. And so, you and you got to ask, would you would smash you, yeah, yeah. if you guys had vaginas? Oh, this is good. All right. Okay. So check this also, out. That's is it? Oh, my God. That's Theo? <laughs> That's Theo. Uh, all yeah, right. Yeah, I would for right? sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah, all I right. I would for sure. Uh-huh. Yes. There you go. <laughs> There's Brendan. Yes. Uh, I mean. Come on, dude. Yeah. Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. Here's Chris. Yeah, dude. Definitely. Uh, that's that's probably the best one so far. You think so? I mean, it might be the hair. I this think they picked genius. a big body lady too, because that's is a fucking genius. <laughs> it's so funny. Like, I imagine like wide hips. Yeah, I yeah. pictured a wide. 
even though it's crystal face. I don't know how wide guitar her jaw fit. goes. So why is she hiding her face? Yeah, behind she's hair doing like that. that trick. There's Eric. Nope. Absolutely <laughs> fucking <best>. not. <laughs> that thing, I'm God, is that on a track? I'm sorry, that's Eric, so but funny. fuck no, dude. Fuck, they took such a great job. Bad, I would fuck okay. Eric Griffin before I'd fuck that lady. <laughs> There's Nick. Uh, no. Nah. Not terrible. Not and they did me so wrong. I don't know oh, who this person is. Oh, Jen. oh, oh. yes. <laughs> no. Jen, I got to pass on that. I, too. I would pass on it. I no way. I'm not gonna have it. Fuck, I guess. She's Asian. It might be Theo. It might be Theo. Theo and looks then, too young, there's a, too. There's a bonus round. You can oh, write it. Oh, my God. just dressed God. up as a girl. That's him just dressed up as a girl. No, no face swap It's my coming out party, guys. I am a transgender woman. That's when was this? This was on the set of 50 Central in 2017. Uh, that is a character called Markeisha. Dude, um, you should send that photo uh, <laughs> to WWE and go, oh I want to be God. I want to be in the women's division. What a great Dude. idea. They would... They would the whole movie plot is immediately fly you so yeah. to Connecticut and give you like and a don't tryout. change your voice. That's your voice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and you say, uh, yeah, you shave the shit, mm -hmm. and you just go, yeah, I'm a woman. Yeah. I dare you to question it. Yeah, and and what's what's my you just start name? breaking bitches? She, her? Yeah, and the the, the whole storyline is like trans woman. It's kind of like She-Ra, almost like He-Man, She-Ra, She-Her. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so they'd be, great. They'd, you'd get killed when by that she, crowd. They'd be like, he's <laughs> trans, fuck that. They'd be like, get that dude out well, of here. Well, because you know how like wrestling totally always tries to parody uh, current events and yeah. these things. Well, you know, you got Leah, whatever her name, swimming. Who? Leah Thompson. Thomas Thompson. Yeah. She's yeah. a trans swimmer. So everyone yeah. started talking about the trans yeah. people and athletes. Wait, she's swimming in, or she's swinging? She was swimming, dude. <laughs> swimming fast. She's swimming. She swam. She swam so still fast. got a still got a piece on her too. She apparently. swam so fast. I, she could. She swim as fast as a, a guy. She swims. She swims so fast. She'd be in the top five hundred. She it comes could. To guys. She could swim against guys. If she was on testosterone, if she was normal, dude. back to where she was when she was a guy, she'd be. I think she could give some be, of those boys a run for their money. Yep, she'd be in the top five hundred. But instead, she went over to the women and took first. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> went over to the women. I mean, yeah. She. She's a woman. All right, guys. Tomorrow, Salt Lake City, Utah. Wise guys, I'll see you there. I got one show tomorrow, Thursday. Nashville, Tennessee, Zanies, August 26, 27, Friday, Saturday. That's next weekend. Man, Raleigh, good nights. Great club. September club. 8, 9, 10. These are all my favorite places. Yeah, San Jose, California, September 15, 17, Spokane, September 22, 24. Do you, do you go long. real clean when you're in Utah? Or do you just do your normal stuff? I do my normal stuff. I got to talk to that guy. He, he stopped gets booking me. Oh, really? Yeah. He I'll stopped talking to him. Yeah, uh, Chicago, Keith Stubbs. Illinois. Oh, yeah. Uh, Brendan? August 26th for Brendan. Um, get your tickets. Uh, he's doing a Tough Mudder run that on the 27th. You can buy tickets to a Tough Mudder run? Appleton, Wisconsin. He's uh, at um, the, what the fuck is it called? There's a club there. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's just Skyline. September 8th. Skyline yeah, it's, Comedy yeah. Club. Uh, Adam Brick, Norris, Brick House, something like that. Anyway, September 8th uh, to September 10th, Ontario Ontario Improv, September 15th to the 17th. Mm -hmm. And then Jeff? Here's my dates. Pittsburgh, this Saturday. Pittsburgh at Enclave Theater. And then August 25th and 27th, I'm in St. Louis at the Helium Comedy Club. September 9th and 10th, I'm at Hyenas in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. And then I'm going back to Hyenas, September 23rd and 24th, to play the Dallas Club. Uh, come get tickets for that. Also, if you subscribe to my Patreon, you get free tickets to all these shows. You can just show up and say, I'm a Patreon subscriber, and I leave you tickets. Um, and my Patreon's cheaper than the tickets will be. It's just $10 to subscribe to my Patreon, so it works out. Get free tickets if you want. But Pittsburgh, this Saturday, please come see me. There also, shout out to my boy Jeff Tyler guy. Barker. Huge fan of this podcast. He's going to be super excited. that uh, Tyler, Barker. Nice. Tyler Barker, one of the biggest fighter and the kid fans out there. Really? Awesome. Love hey, you, Tyler. boys. Uh, all right, buddy. Well, thanks for doing this. Love you, bud. Let's say you're always welcome. I'm happy to be here. I love it here. You're great. You're oh, great. yeah. Also, there's a That's podcast on uh, on this network that I have called 12 Packs with Jeff Dye. Oh, really? Where we crack beers and oh, crack baseball cards. Not baseball, any cards. It's going to move to the main network, I think. Yeah, I would yeah. love to have you guys yeah. on it. I'm doing a new yeah. podcast. I'm, I started a new podcast. A Brian, new one? The Brian Callen Show. Yeah. Like it's that. just me. Just you talking. Yeah. How long is it? Like an hour, maybe less sometimes. I'm not doing a lot. Whatever you feel And like. then I got Conspiracy Social Club, of course, on Rockfin. We keep growing. And best of which What's I'm dropping, I'm dropping they the never heard of Austin that. episodes very soon on best of YouTube, Brian Callen dot com slash people are loving Brian it. Brian Callen comedy. 
dot com what is the YouTube. conspiracy one about or youtube.com <laughs> wait youtube.com <laughs> they've Brian already Young. stopped I'm just trying to wait, write what, what are you asking what are you asking uh, what's what conspiracy what? social club conspiracy about? social clubs where sam tripley comes up with conspiracy and i debunk it oh good and it's just like fucking that's pretty fun yeah, yeah it's great does Brian? sam really believe all those uh i i think he does he has, you know what's great is whenever a conspiracy guy and i'll put sam in this camp i love that guy yeah, he's the best. but uh i will say like it's like it's always like a really good argument. You go, oh, that's pretty interesting, and the thing's pretty interesting. And then you'll go, you might make a counter argument that it makes good sense. Yeah. And he'll be like, it's all about money, dude. <laughs> like then it's like a vague kind of like thing where you go, well, that's not a good argument. Yeah. It's like it's all mirrors, dude. And you yeah. go, what? Oh, wait. A that's minute. the argument. Yeah. It yeah. all comes down to power, man. And you go, what? <laughs> that's not a good argument for this. Uh, well, that's that's my take on a lot of that. Yeah. Sam's the best. I love that fucking guy, and he's so funny. He's great. Sam is so fucking funny. Yeah. He, I, he's, you know, you you're a comic, and it's, it's hard to make you laugh after a while. You've seen oh, so yeah. much. That dude kills me. He's great. I saw him at the comedy store for the first time, <laughs> like live ever. I'm seeing him into that one show. Like, comedy chaos. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's great. It was. I did a uh, Lee the last week, or I think I did it last week, and Sam Tripoli was yeah. so sweet. Well, yeah. He's such because he looks like a crazy guy, <laughs> you know, and he behave. You think he's crazy if you met him, but if you met him, he's like the nicest guy in the, the world. Best. And uh, and in the green room, he just kept being like, "Hey, man, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I, I know you're here, but like, I, I got to put three more on." Then he was talking about it like that doesn't happen every night of my life. Yeah. <laughs> the, the bookers or the manager, they they put me on whenever they want. They'll sweet. go two more than you, or oh, I need you to go next, or oh, hey, can you? you got to go last yeah they never are like apologetic like he was like i feel terrible man i gotta put you uh at this spot i was like whenever you want it's yeah. your show you can put me yeah. you can bump me if you want like it's it's your show yeah right. i know but he's just such a thoughtful guy refreshing he really and he's like next time i have you on man i'll get you like a third you know i was like okay yeah whatever i'm happy doing whatever yeah nice guy he's the best all right, Jeff, die. Love I'll you, boys. You I'll let you go get get to your um, go back to sleep. class. Yeah, got to go back, do you some Pilates. Some, yes. Your yeah. step class? Yeah, get to Pilates. Stretch lab? Watch some porn, go yeah. to bed. Do you watch porn? Yeah. I don't really watch porn. Ever? Well, I got a girl. I don't know. I'm just not into it anymore. I stopped watching it. You're missing out, dude. Probably. What's your? Do you have a go-to? MILF. Really? Right yeah. away. Yeah, it's the best. You don't say. So you go to Pornhub and just go to MILF? MILF. <clears throat> All right. <coughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Check it out. I like it. I'm not. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bully. I love it. Porn right, bully. Porn, notorious porn bully. Just <laughs> 315. What do we got to read? Yeah. So no sign off? Oh, this is the pirate and the kid. We're out. Awesome. <laughs> we love you guys.